Hey, everybody! Welcome back to Welcome Frenemies! Should we plan something to say? Like, should we have an opening tagline like most podcasts do? Do they? No. Oh, they don't? What po- well, name a tagline from a podcast. But they usually, like, go like, hey, everybody, or they have some kind of way to open it so it's not as awkward. Oh, I feel like that should be, like, Dan, you know he, how they have, like, Gelman for, like, Regis and Kelly? Like, I feel like there needs to be, like, a Gelman. We need an announcer? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Dan, you want to announce? What would you say? Oh, jeez, I don't know. Say, say, <laughs> hi! Good. It's got to be really dumb. Top, good afternoon. Yeah, usually like, release in the morning, so that might be oh. weird. <laughs> be yeah. like, are they friends today or are they enemies? Here's your oh, favorite frenemies, yeah. Ethan and Trisha. Right. Thanks. That is really good. <laughs> Dan, you want to try that? Oh, Jesus. Come on, get hit us with that. What, what, uh, are they <laughs> friends or are they enemies today? <laughs> Tune in to find out. Are they friends or are they enemies today? Tune in to find out on today's episode of Frenemies. <laughs> That's really us. Good. I like that. That's I, wonderful. That was good you did that. I like cringe doing it and then like having someone that else. That was a really like, good idea though. Okay, maybe we'll get an announcer. Maybe Dan will be the announcer. Well, he's he's the only one here, so I mean like. <laughs> Ew, what? your dogs are humping each other. Okay, <gasps> first of all, what is you about that? You're a sex worker. <laughs> that? These are dogs. <laughs> Why are they humping? They're brothers. First of all, they're not related by blood. You know step porn is like the most popular genre. <laughs> <laughs> and then second of all, it's a it's a Treaders Alpha. We have so much to talk about today. I know. So much from TikTokers fake faking pranks. Jeffree Star is back with hair by Jay. Joel Olstein emailed me. Dr. Phil called me and wanted me to be fake on the show. <laughs> Gay burgers, your weight loss, Valentine's Day, my weight gain. I look more Wait, like Kevin on. Smith and Adam Sandler today. Kevin Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I was Wait, going Kevin for Adam Smith Sandler good. and I look like Kevin Smith. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's I've gotten so fat. Like I literally make like, oh me and Adam Sandler have like similar body types, so even his clothes don't fit me. Like I was buying all his clothes on eBay, and like now I have to go. Literally, I'm like, okay, let me just be real about it. Let me just buy Kevin Smith's old clothes. I mean, even he's skinnier than me now. Congrats, Kevin Smith. Can you buy Kevin Smith's old fat clothes? <laughs> See how they fit me. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, Let's maybe. Try it. I feel like he he's down with podcasts. Maybe did you? Well, never. Mind, you don't really care about that. <laughs> how do you know? Because I know every okay. time I bring up them, you like don't care. So, I'll, well, we have more than that to talk about. First of all, there was a lot of drama on our show of surrounding one of our cast members that said something about about uh, the situation with David. And I also want to talk about David a little bit before we move on. Oh, it should be continued. Yeah. We should talk about him for 10 minutes every episode because <laughs> there's like actual crimes being committed and nobody cares. Like literally nobody cares. It's so, un- it's so annoying. I've seen TikTokers, like see people on TikTok are pretty woke about this being like, if this was a girl, like the Seth thing, if this was a girl talking about SA, like, you know, everyone would be like, he'd be like in jail. Like it's a crime and like nobody cares and they keep praising this person. Oh my. So, so, so every episode we should talk about David Dobrik. I'm so down because- <laughs> He's doing some shitty shit. Like so, first of all, crimes. Let me let me back up a little bit and say that um, I want to first of all apologize to you. I should not have allowed that to occur. <clears throat> I thought, ah, excuse me, getting up the. That's not the Tourette's. That's the GERD. That's the GERD. Okay. Did it look like Tourette's? Yeah, because it was very loud and funny. that one was Tourette's. Okay. <laughs> It's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> AB, I, we had arguing this, been arguing this backstage. And I was like, wow, this, you know, this is, I thought it would be just like f- entertaining to debate it. Mm-hmm. But I should have been more considerate knowing that it would have triggered you. So I, and then, and then on the other hand, I also should apologize. I do apologize to AB because I, First of all, the amount of shit he got, I knew he would get some. I thought maybe it would be like funny shit, but it turned out being like really intense, mean, death threaty shit. Did you script what he had to say? No. Did you point him in the direction of what to say? No. So you shouldn't have to apologize. What he said is what he said. He got backlash and, you know, one, I was surprised you guys did it. Not because it like to trigger me. It's just like one thing because you just interviewed Big Nick. You're interviewing all these victims and then you're like... Okay, somebody who wasn't there to defend him. Yeah. But at the same time, he said that. Those were his words. So, yes, I get that you guys got backlash for it or whatever. <laughs> but, like, but so. Don't say ignorant shit. You're not there. Don't try and say that person's lying, which is <laughs> essentially what he did that all three of us are fucking lying. That's exactly what he insinuated. And I that know, was, but I should have known. I should have. Well, like, we were having those debates backstage, and I should have 
not put them. I should have said like these are these are better off camera. Yeah, I was definitely surprised because you're like inviting like victims onto your show of like essay and stuff like that, and then you're just like then you're like oh let's have someone debunk what they're saying. Like that was a little shocking. Well, but at well, the same to be time, fair, we didn't we didn't we were very. We were debating. It wasn't like, oh, this is a perspective okay. we agree with. No, defend but that David said, in other aspects, not people who are victims of these things. Don't be like, oh, debate. Like, you can debate it. Well, he gave out cars. He did this. Try and, like, make it paint him in a good light without having to debunk that we're a liar. You know what? I totally agree. And I and I failed everybody. And or invite horrible. someone. But also, that it was just ignorant. And what he said, the <laughs> amount of ignorance of it, like, literally had me seeing red. Usually I don't care, and I'm usually, like, not. But that triggered me so much because for years I've been getting those comments from David Stans. Well, Trisha was along with it. Trisha so, did this. And hearing that is so fucking awful. Like, how dare you? Like, I, I've heard that for years. So to hear someone else just be ignorant as fuck, I was like, wow. Like, this person, I have zero, I have zero respect for so her. I still do, and my, I have no forgiveness. And My, th my thought process was... I agree. This is the kind of comments that you get. And so my thought process was like, let's bring it out in the open and and then deal with this kind of thing. Because I feel like me and Ela push back on it a lot. For and, sure. Yeah. And so we we were like, OK, well, this is how there's a lot of people that feel this way. So let's talk this out. So I thought those people weren't in the situation. Nobody. Was I in agree with you. But I'm saying so. if we put this conversation forward, maybe we can convince people to that they shouldn't think the way he does. I don't need to convince anyone. I share my <laughs> truth just like but they're just sharing the their truth. This helps none of us. Like everybody said from Nick to me to Seth, like it helps none of us. If anything, it makes us look obsessive as people call me. Oh, she's obsessed with this, just, blah, blah, blah. That's like, not what I mean. I mean, people who are presenting that argument that AB did, I wanted to give people a response to it so the people who watch our podcast can think, oh, what AB thinks isn't true. Okay, so what he was saying was not his opinions, you're saying? No, it was his opinions, but I was saying that putting the debate out in front, I thought was a good for people to watch and learn what we had to say in response to it. Yeah, it was great because people saw but what I idiot also, AB and people who think no, like him were. No, it was, and then as soon as he gets backlash, he, he does an apology. It's like... That's I hate that bullshit, too. It's but, like it's you know, it's not sincere. You said what you said. And because you got backlash, it's like now I'm like, let me apologize. And I accept an apology. I'll accept it all day long. But it shows what idiots those people are that are blindly defending David that were not in that situation of Seth. How dare you say Seth is lying? Seth is a person of color is feeling racist. And you're going to tell him he like don't feel that way. That's such bullshit. It infuriated me to a whole different level. And I don't care. If people think we were hard on him or whatever. That's ignorant, stupid comments. I've been hearing those for fucking but he, years. So. The part about, eight, first of all, I want to say A.B.'s a great guy. People were sending him death threats and, like, harassing him. I get death him. threats every day. I get death threats every day for being fat, for being whatever. People send me death threats. Like, it, it's you put yourself online. Like, don't be on camera. Don't have your own YouTube channel. Like, he made jokes of it on TikTok being, like, about to get canceled, y'all. Like, he, he knew exactly what was coming and what was happening. It was so gross to me. I didn't like it. <laughs> So it's my fault. On. It's my fault. Okay, well, I'm I, don't, sorry. I don't. I don't think so. Is that like maybe it was to have him on the show. Period. But his known. opinions were that, and that showed his true colors, and that was disgusting. So <laughs> I agree. I thought it was weird you guys had him on. Yeah. I was like what it, the hell? I. But I, I know that's up. his true colors. Don't even want that around me. Like I don't want. It's like Shane saying he didn't believe me. I don't want people like that. I'm telling you my truth and my story. I don't lie. I ha everything I say has been proven and backed up on camera. Like it's just it's it's facts. There's nothing else to say. So, I mean, yeah, I know you like are ba you're backtracking with it now. My, and all the problem stuff, is he's my, he's my employee, and like I care about him as a at his well being. So I have to like he's he is a good guy, you know. And it was like I think in the moment he got caught up in trying to make these like impassioned arguments, mm. and then afterward he's like, oh, it's ignorant. Fuck, I and took the, it too the initial far. reaction, not obviously not <clears> death threats, obviously, but it's just like when you're ignorant like that and you say ignorant stuff, like trying to say like, well, she she did this. She was okay. She flirted with David. So she does she deserves this, even though she said it was uncomfortable and like all that stuff like that. She deserved that. But can I say like in a good way, I think the debate and everything and all that happened, I do feel like he's seeing things differently. Is he or did he just get backlash? I think he is. Mm, okay. I, I didn't see, get an apology from him. <laughs> He did you, a generic apology because people were like hating on him because people love AB and now they hate him. They didn't generic. I didn't get anything. I didn't text from him. I see him all the time. I see him. A text? I work with him. I talk with him. He never texted me. Sorry. Like I think he would if he had a friend. He told. He told. He. I want follow him. I follow him. He could. He can message me. He could do. Oh, you do. Yeah. There's plenty of ways. He know you could reach out to me. Like there's so many things. So hmm. it's fine. I mean, it's fine. It, it, to me, it was. I think he learned his lesson to just not be stupid on like. But that's his real beliefs, and that's it. Showed it showed, and it was 
disgusting. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I take responsibility for the whole thing. So that happened. Which, which the, the part that really annoyed me, though, is like, first of all, we did this. What I thought the interview with Seth was like, I was blown away yeah. by Seth's interview. He was so articulate. He was so impassioned. He told his story mm -hmm. so well. And the details of it blew me away every time. Right. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes out, first of all, everybody's talking about AB. And then the second time, everybody's talking about that I was too much of too hard on AB. People were so... Mm -hmm. upset about that whole dynamic that like nobody cared about what seth said yeah and david got off again yeah always always i do want to remind people that ab didn't actually what do you say essay yeah that's the good way to mm -hmm. say it so you don't get ding dong yeah. <clears throat> i like that that's what they do on tiktok the essay i saw that i was like essay yeah yeah all of my episodes with him got demonetized which yeah. sucks because less people see it but anyway <clears throat> um this guy was saying, I was literally essayed. That sounds like <laughs> it's Spanish. fifth grade. Oh. Oh, I was saying like essay. Essay. <laughs> essay. He was literally essayed by David and Jason twice. And somehow they're evading the responsibility yet again. Like, nobody, like, dude, 90% of the comments were about either me or AB. And I was like, damn, I, again, that I fucked up because the focus should be on Seth. Yeah, AB should never have been on that show, like, at all. Like, have an apology, like, on your own time or whatever. But, like, that was so sad. Like, because hearing that, like, I knew that was happening. Because as, as I was telling you, that was, like, a month after I started dating Jason. I remember telling him I wasn't, like, I thought it was weird for a number of reasons. Mine was more like, oh, you're going to kiss this guy. Like, that was what was bothering me more so than I didn't know that he wasn't, like, consenting to it. And even the stuff with the girls, like, all that stuff I had no, I had no idea. And, like, hearing it from him, I was like, wow, this is, like, so messed up. And then also, just, I don't know, not to recap the last episode, but then also, you know, like, saying they're going to pay him money and then didn't. And, like, you know, No, all that I do want to recap it because people, prepare, I, I want to reemphasize <laughs> what like I heard. I feel like all your episodes are recapping, like, previous episodes. <laughs> episodes but i mean still no this seth excuse is me <laughs> that was all for, well you're right part of it was recap the seth was original no and that was like crazy to me to like see because we're all uh, keep in mind me and big nick and seth and everyone we never like we weren't crossed so like all our stories are like similar but like no one right. ever crossed paths with each other and big, me and big nick obviously don't like each other i mean he said like to shatter on an agenda which is like what is my agenda i have no agenda i got kicked out of this group everyone thinks i'm obsessed with these people there's no agenda like what was my agenda this was truth this is all it is but um we all have like the same like similar stories of like not consenting asking things to not be put in the thing and then once we say we're uncomfortable getting exiled from like even a friendship with any of them mm -hmm. or whatever um big nick got an apology seth didn't even like the fact that oh they, they didn't ghosted even, him they couldn't even pick up his phone call like he, he was call, trying he called him for like he was trying to reach him before the interview because he didn't want to have to do it and they ghosted him people like i don't know i don't know I, I'm, I'm so confused how people are so how this is not a bigger deal the fact that like no nobody picked the story up right somebody comes out and credibly he not credibly it's fact he's on camera twice being essayed by david nobody's picking it up no, like, van, none of these fucking big magazines. Phil DeFranco, Phil DeFranco not even. Not, Akeem Star, it's like. They're so far. Are they, they're either, they're afraid of David's fans no. because, or, or, or I don't, I don't, I literally don't know it's what like it is. It's like the boys club thing. It's because like, he's like the cool guy that nobody yeah, wants to make fun of. of course. And he's like, you know, doing brand deals with Chipotle like and the, Tesla and like all these things. So people are like, oh, he's like this power, right? Also, just like so how, scary. So it's like, you know, it's like when PewDiePie, look first, when PewDiePie, messes up it's like a media frenzy david is he's literally he like made this guy move to another city in shame yeah it's insane and nobody's right i can't my mind i just i can't believe when i was hearing that i was like wow this is gonna be a huge story he's on camera being essayed yeah and say and like but like everyone like i had it that he didn't know like everyone knew about this it's like so crazy it's so crazy to me and the fact that he like said he was like uncomfortable and asked him to take videos down and they weren't taken down like it's insane to me it's so like yeah crazy. That, the the craziest things to me was that he refused to take the videos down when he asked him and he offered to pay him money and seth said something really interesting okay. he's like that's when i knew they weren't really my friends yeah and then the other thing was during the second beef jerky, during this elaborate ruse to set him up to make out with Jason again, he, the contract offered him 2500 bucks, which he was planning on receiving that yeah. money. And when it was done, David refused to give him the money. Right. The dogs fucking with you. They're a lot. Yeah. They're fun. Though. Um. Yeah, it, I I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's so crazy. I don't know. David will get away with like everything, but I... 
<clears throat> people had come forward to you. The same person who emailed you had emailed me. Another guy said he was a victim of Jason. Yeah. Unwanted stuff. And, um, and that it was on camera and stuff. And I've heard this from numerous people and girls and it's like, all I say is they always, can you share, can you put this out there? Like, I know this. And all I say is like, you guys have to put out like your own yeah, stories. Like yeah. I can't be the one. There are underage girls that said that they were fed alcohol, like all this stuff. If you have your own story, but same thing when Dom, like there's essayed, enough out there. If no, if this isn't enough, then nothing is. But people are scared. That's what I'm saying is like these people, like the guy that emailed you. And then I asked, I know him personally, like he's someone in the sphere and he had, he shared that same story. It's like, you have to say something because if you're comfortable, but like, if you don't say it, then like, we, I can't share it for you because like, it's not my story. Well, I'm just going to look like I'm obsessed with David. I can't put everyone's story out because it, it takes away the credibility <sighs> from everything I'm saying. I don't know, though. I disagree. I know you said that, and I totally get it because this is like a lot of people like, are going to. Yeah, people are not going to take me seriously if it's I just turn that. into the You're David. giving like a platform to people. Like I'm shocked Seth, Seth shared that story because he got like he got didn't get as much attention last year when he was trying to talk about this. And Big Nick as well. Like I'm shocked that they came forward because Big Nick is still on good terms with David. And it's like at least you're giving people like a safe platform where they feel they're backed by a big creator, which is you, because going against against David alone you just like it's just gets lost in the void and you get shit on it. yeah on it's, it's awful so there's so many stories I've heard over the years and it just sucks like this one girl got essayed by Dom a, a person in the vlog squad at VidCon she was underage and he forced himself on her and and get, they swept under the rug it's and it was so rude weird. and like I think I think Dom apologized I don't um, think that cuts it but Sorry. The fact, the fact that David hasn't even apologized to him or acknowledged it to like, it, it's insane. It's so insane. He doesn't have to acknowledge any of this shit publicly. It's like crazy. I, because shocked. nobody's holding him accountable, literally. Uh, and, and this time I thought for sure it would stick. But there's a few things that, oh, if you there, actually there, there is somebody holding him accountable. Who? The foot soldiers. <laughs> Watch this. Don't don't oh do that. God. Look at his wiki feet rating and tell me that we don't hold accountability here on this show. Foot soldiers assemble. David Dobrik had a four point eight or something like stellar like that. How is What's David his rating Dobrik, now? Read it. Read it. I literally can't see. I have like the worst eyes ever. One point three seven. How is David Dobrik's content still allowed on on YouTube? I don't understand that. Like, how are those? Trisha, I feel like you glossed over the fact that we tanked his wiki feet rating. Like the things that I didn't consent to are still up there. Him scaring me in the shower, like. Oh, not so okay. <clears throat> that's no, what I want to get on to really next. It's really not funny because like Seth asked him to take stuff down that like racist <laughs> shit and like stuff that I asked him to. And not he said, "Let me there. pay you." And Seth's like, "What the, the hell?" The stuff with Tana, like, I, like I don't want that shit out there. Like, okay, I have so a lot of the stuff you claimed has been resurfacing over the past few days, and I've been watching these, and I'm like, "Holy fuck!" There's like video evidence of all the shit you're saying. Is it okay with you if I open these? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. So here's one. I snuck into their hotel room. You told an anecdote about how he, you and Jason were having, uh, let's say relations. Mm -hmm. You guys were, you guys were doing it. <laughs> I mean, what advice do you have for people that want to make? And he, so tell, why don't you tell me you were there? <laughs> tell me what happened. Are you talking, is this the shower clip? Yeah, I snuck into their hotel room. <laughs> literally the thumbnail, because you asked me if there was video of this, and I'm like, it's literally the thumbnail and title. Which oh, I yeah, yeah, wait, I have a picture of the thumbnail. Here, I want to show <laughs> it, because the, even the thumbnail was like, what the fuck? Yeah. So here's the thumbnail. Jesus, not a very <laughs> flattering image of you. Uh -uh. Who does that sound like with the thumbnails mm. here on the front of these podcasts? I don't do it. Come I on. I have the biggest head next to you. They, like, blow me up, and it's like, you I You want them to like shrink my your head? They just don't put me equal. But, Anyways. Um, so it says, I snuck into their ho uh, hotel room surprise. This is the last vlog I'm in before the Tana stuff went down. So this is like the last, because I did not, I was not comfortable with this. I did not want this in there either. So I was tell me like, what happened. Tell me the situation. It was, what? when does it come out? It was around Christmas time, right? When was the? This is just a re-upload. Oh, I don't it's know a re-upload. Re oh, so, here it has. What, is the original yeah, one down? Yeah, it, the day after Christmas. So the day after Christmas. So I remember this. Wait, is the original one? That's a good question. Let me see. I have the link here. I thought it was the yeah. I thought the original one was still up. I just I grabbed it in case you removed it. Oh yeah, and it has ads. No time to know. cook. KFC, like, baby. Like how is YouTube allowing that? Brought to you by KFC. I'm like, going to cook it. I should just do privacy complaints for all his video. Be like, I did not consent to this. I did not consent to this. Like, this does not have my permission to put this into the video. Like, I'm not like that because I did I mean, consent to so much. But this in this particular, it's like, what the hell? Here, I'm trying to find. Okay, so here, so t set this up for me, okay? <laughs> It was just like, 
I was in Boston for two weeks with Jason and his family. He's like, we need to fly to Chicago, which is where David's from. And so we did. And we land. And this is like an hour, two hours after we land. We like get in the hotel room. Like, I don't know. I guess we just start having like sex or something like that. And he's like, oh, can you go get me a tissue? And I go in there and David's in the shower. And like we were in the room for at least an hour. From the airport was an hour. Like he was there like two hours. What do you mean in the shower? He was just in the bathroom? In the Behind the shower curtain. Okay. Yeah. It's... Yeah, it was, and they did these a lot, like scare pranks in my house. Like David would be in my house or whatever, but we were never like having. But why sex. would that? Here's the creepy thing. Why would Jason have sex with you for an hour, knowing David was in the bathroom? It wasn't an hour. It was like maybe like fifteen. Minutes, okay, but like, have sex with you yeah, at yeah. all? That's so disgusting. Like, that's what I said. I was just like, wait, it's why, such a violation. Why did you? Why didn't we just like send me in the bathroom before I got we got naked? Like we're naked in this clip, like completely. So here, so, so here. I'm completely oh, naked in this clip. Oh, FYI. you can tell. Here, well, let's watch. You just, Jason just landed, babe. <laughs> 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 Who am I? Did you see his first podcast where this girl literally just says, Oh my God, you didn't get me a car? And they all just like bust out laughing and like nothing's funny. It was so I odd. It's so, um, hmm? I, I didn't You're not a it. fan. It was number one on trending. How YouTube is trending somebody who is. Who is like doing this shit? Who's not? Who's like a, literally a predator? Who's literally like not respecting anyone's like, got like any? It's fucking crazy. Well, and because nobody it. knows. David's like the king, and they don't know any better. Nobody's talking about it. I mean, <sighs> nobody gives a shit. This video is still monetized on his channel. It does feel like such a lost cause because, like, I, that's why I didn't even. I'm down. I'm. I'm okay not talking about it anymore because it's just such a lost cause. I've been screaming and screaming. Well, and screaming I just want to and... cover this because I'm so invested now. But after this, I'm gonna move on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. Like, it's like it doesn't even matter. So, so you guys had sex. You went into the bathroom, and then you're like, "What? Did you say anything well, to them?" Yeah, I, I was supposed to go back to Boston with Jason, and because he he left like that night. Like, we only came in, I think, either for this or something else that was happening. Oh, there was like a skunk bit or something. We only came in for twelve hours, and I was supposed to go back to Boston with Jason, and I literally stayed in Illinois and by myself. I went to see like Hamilton or something like that. And then I flew back by myself because I felt so weird about it. And, and then David never put me in another vlog for like a month until the Tana thing happened in February where the all, all hell So he was mad that you got upset about it? Yeah, I said I was upset about it. I said like, I don't like this. is That's his That's his thing. That you can't know. When you say I have a line that you can't cross, he th drops you. Well, here's the, yeah, exactly. And here's the thing, like with this one in particular, because I know everyone's going to be like, well, Trisha, you're naked online. At this point, I was doing Patreon where I was only posting like nude Who photos. Who gives a fuck if you're naked online? The guy violated okay, your trust and privacy. That, Jason's ex-wife was like, that. you guys can't live together because Trisha's naked online. So I stopped being naked online. I said, I took all, down all my photos. And then this happens. I'm like, fuck, Jason's ex-wife is going to see this and be like, oh, they're naked. They're like having sex on camera or something like that. And that was my concern. And I even said it to Jason. I said it to David. I was like, your ex-wife is like not going to let me ever live with you or see the kids because now. I'm naked again online, which I took down all the naked stuff at that time. Mm. And so that was like my big concern. And I was like, I, it was so, it was all so like much. It was just a lot. And I did not go back with Jason. I did not go back with David. I stayed in Illinois by myself. And like, that's great. And I love that. I love that his, and his apology is to cut you out. Yeah. Cause that's, that's literally what it is. And it's, 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 oh, it's so <laughs> insane. So here's another one where. That's why I take real issue with people like AB saying that shit's scripted and it's a show. It's fucking not. Like, I, did, I didn't even consent to it. I don't even want to be in it. Right. It's good to, I, again, yeah, it's good that we are putting that forward so people know it's not. I mean, this shit is real. Here's another one where David tried to set Jason up for real to cheat on you. No, he tried to set oh, me you up, up to cheat. So that's so humiliating. That's just, that's just, and I did that's not just know. not cool. This one I didn't know. Like, literally, they went to go film something. And Dave was like, hey, can you run to the store and get, like, something for, like, I don't know, another bit, like, candy or something. And I went. And, like, it, like, it, this was, like, a real issue. This was, we broke up, like, literally, two, uh, maybe, like, seven days after this and stuff like that. Because this was, like, a real issue. Because, like, I don't know what happened. I forgot. Like, it all wasn't in there. But he set me up, basically, to, like, cheat on me. It was weird. And then Jason was, like, freaking out about it. It was, it was odd. He wasn't happy about it either? To me. He wasn't happy about admit it to me. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. I like passed the. T I passed it. Obviously, so the why guy was he was mad? I forgot what. I mean, we can huh. watch it. I forgot what it was. So anyway, but. it's called trying to catch his girlfriend cheating. Now, had your now again, in. this is not a funny thing to do to a couple, especially us because we're so. I was so insecure about it. Anyways, right. you know, because the Tana stuff, everything was just like a lot for me. It's so. like, it's like he's trying to break you guys up. It's almost like he's yeah, for doing sure that. that. <laughs>
All right, guys, Hi. here's Trisha. She's going in to buy me some chocolate. All right, there goes Richie. He's going in. There's Josh. Hey, how you doing? I'm Richie. Hey, I'm Trisha. You think I can get your number? No. <laughs> no? No, I got a boyfriend. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah. I've got a girlfriend like that. Oh, well, thank you. Every good looking girl in this town has a boyfriend. Yeah. Maybe we could just be friends. I'm a nice guy, so I always finish last, so you can finish first. <laughs> I feel like my friend sent me to get candy, because he's a vlogger. I got candy. Can we <laughs> just be friends? <laughs> I don't you know. You mean a boyfriend? I, I could be your man for no. a Have a hug? Hi. <laughs> you totally passed. Well, one, it was like a young guy, which I'm not into. I only like mm. my men old. But um, but yeah, it was, but it was more, it wasn't even that. It was just like. We already were like bumpy, me and Jason, like Rocky with like trust issues and stuff like that. And it was just more of that thing. And I so just. So why? Yeah. Why do that? It's yeah. Just, it was real. I mean, that was real. I think the guy was mic'd up. I wasn't. <laughs> the I guy was what? The guy was mic'd up. So people were like, oh, why is the audio so oh clear? Like that guy oh. had a mic, I guess. <laughs> it's not bad. It should have been like Jason Momoa or something. So like there's that. And then there was one other one, which was actually, in my opinion, the most interesting. <laughs> Here's a clip. Of you confronting David and Jason about the Seth prank and telling them you weren't comfortable with it. It's just crazy how people found this because I, I totally forgot about this clip. And then David's response to you was really interesting. Mm -hmm. Here, watch this. What about you, Trisha? What do you have to complain about? Nothing. I have nothing. I have a lot to complain about, but I'm not going to because Jason will get mad at me. <laughs> I'm not gonna get mad at you. Go ahead. What's up? No, I get yelled at by Jason all the time, so I'm not gonna. Show what? <laughs> when did I yell at you? Saturday. Oh, I, I think we should just break up if you're gonna react like this. <laughs> like every time I see anything he threatens to break up with me, I just don't think I'm so happy right now. <laughs> See, I have it working perfectly. <laughs> she was upset that I was going to make out with Seth, and so I flipped out. You, you, you being mad about the Seth? Well, that's not true. I was being here. Mad about the Seth make out thing is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I said she's just is it? Was that real? Like him saying it's crazy three yeah, times, or yeah. was that edited? No, that's the clip, unedited. <laughs> you being mad about your boyfriend making out with it? <laughs> oh, so, oh, I can't say that. Bleep that. S <laughs> saying. Another man is crazy, Trisha. Crazy. 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 <laughs> oh my God, that's You're such a great crazy. answer. That's like PDS. Sorry. I don't even remember. And then when you did that, I was just like, oh my God. Because like, yeah. And the thing is, is my MO is like everyone like calls me crazy online or whatever. So it's like, that's such an easy thing to say. And like, you start thinking that. You're like, even Jason, when yeah. I called him, when he said he was going to do it, I was so remember. I was in Cleveland. And when I called him, I'm like, I'm not comfortable with you doing it. This was a month after we're dating. He's like, then we're going to break up. Like, if you're not comfortable with this, then we're breaking up. So like, I was like so scared of that. Excuse me. That I was just like. I don't know. I this just, is so redeeming because I remember you saying, I remember that happening and not being comfortable with it. And here's the footage. Yeah. And not only you saying you're not comfortable with it, but De David, was, I mean, look at People misuse gaslighting all the time. This is gaslighting. Right, right, right. Because you know something's wrong and he's trying to convince you that you're crazy. Right. I... I mean, that was everything, though. Like, everything is like, Trisha, you're crazy, you're crazy. And I have, like, crazy tendencies. But I, I feel like I'm you like... might be this. You're the same one in the room <laughs> in this case, for sure. I'm coming out with guys, girls, moms. I don't care. Like, oh, I don't care. What if he was in a movie and he had to do that? It's not a movie. It's David's vlogs. No one. You're you're like, 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 that was, like, Trisha, always their argument. The They're like, like, what if we were an actor? If you were in a movie, <laughs> right, there would be lawyers and compliance and but and producers and all kinds of people that would tell you, you cannot do this. You're not a movie. You're a fucking YouTuber. You d There's literally no oversight to what you're doing, bro. And then they obviously knew the backlash of it. They obviously knew Seth was accept like upset at the time. Like, it was just so crazy. It's crazy. It was like, I don't know that they did that period. I don't know that people find the craziest shit like that online, but. Um, I like that TikTok keeps talking about it. I hope more people keep talking about it. It just like for me, I'm just not the voice that's going to like help anybody because people think I'm crazy, obsessive, all this stuff like that. So like if you have something that you want to share, you need to share your story. And like at least like I said, your series, I know you're like done with it, but at least it was good because it gave like a sane voice, right? Like somebody who was like unbiased, you know, about it. I would just urge people to go watch that Seth interview. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Watch the um, Seth interview and just... I listen to what the guy is saying because it is really it's it's just insane. Sad. It's just insane the amount of people that can discredit that. Okay, it's one thing for me, whatever, like Trisha's butt her or she brought broken up with or whatever, but it's like that is just like he's a friend. He tried to help them after that, before that. Like in and for people to still discredit him about everything. Oh, that's not racist, that's not that. You shouldn't feel this way. You, you know, you went along with jokes. Like it's it's so insane to me. It's like so it really that that's triggering alone. I was watching. I was like, wow, that's crazy. And like, like I said, I really only met Seth like a couple of times. We never like cross segged in like videos. But mm -hmm. like the fact that 
you know, those people's stories were so similar. It's like, we're not all it's, lying. Yeah, we're no, not all just making no this up about David. And and for what? When people say that, it's like looking for clout. Like you guys made a great point. It's like, there's no clout to be had. Like we just look crazy or obsessive or whatever people call it. There's nothing other oh, than these, trying to like, share the truth. Like Seth, what is Seth gain? Like, <laughs> exactly. Except everyone yeah. just calls, just shits on him and he catches shit. Yeah. Like he has nothing. Like Seth's made a good point of saying that I have nothing to gain. In fact, it's humiliating that I have to come here and share my story. Yeah, because so many people just don't take it seriously. Where if it was like He doesn't a girl, want to relive it. He said it's like traumatic. If a girl came forward and said that about Jason, like it would be a whole different thing. You know what I mean? Like it just really, really sucks that it's like a guy situation, <laughs> including that guy that came forward to you in that email. And he said it to me too, so it wasn't, you know, whatever. But it's like it, it does happen to guys, especially in this situation where it's very frat boy thing, very like hazing and like people just like look past it because they're boys, I guess. I don't know. It's so fucking weird. The, the one other thing that Seth told me that kind of blew my mind is because <clears throat> even I, when I saw the second prank, I was like, oh, he's definitely in on it. And he shows a clip mm -hmm. of Seth saying, how can I, cons he says, do I have your consent to try to make you make out with Jason again? Mm -hmm. Now, Seth said off camera, he said a bunch of times, don't do this, don't do this, I'm not comfortable, I don't consent. And then what J what David ended up cutting in was Seth saying, how can I consent to something I don't know what it is you're going to do, Right. how you're going to do it. And he cut that in. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah, bro. the editing is. You want to, let's take a break. Like a food break. Oh, <laughs> but you like wanted to take a minute on this podcast. No. Okay. So I've been doing, so what we have here is gay burger. You're very and skinny. I'm, I thought it was a haircut, but you did say you were starving, not starving. You oh were God, eating I'm under so, a thousand. I've been doing like these food delivery system stuff. I don't want to say the name because I'm, I'm not trying to give anyone a free plug here. It's Nutrisystem. <laughs> pay me. They should, they, yeah, yeah they pay should. me. Bleep it, Dan. <laughs> no, don't bleep it. I, that's good. Nutrisystem might give us the plug. You'll be the next Marie Osmond. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna be like, why do I, anyway. So these guys, they send you the food and you eat it. Cause I'm just so desperate to lose weight. I'm just so tired of being fat. I just hate being fat. It's I just the worst thing. So I said, I'm doing Nutrisystem. So they send me the food and these people got me on with peace and love. I hate to say it, but it's like the Anne Frank diet. Can I say that? I'm not sure the, <laughs> what happened? She got starved in the concentration camps or something. She was in the attic for a long time. Maybe no she food? ate well, though, there. Like the flowers in the attic, they ate mice, I think. Well, because they were somewhat, we're, we're, talk, we're probably talking too much about Anne Frank, but but she was living, a, fa a kind family was hiding her family in the attic, and so they may have been feeding them well, so maybe it's not a good analogy. Probably not that well, though. Mm, she looked skinny, like on the book cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was a little girl. Oh, really? Yeah. How long was she in the attic for then? A few years. So she aged into an adult at some point. No, she died young. Little. Oh, she died in the attic? Well, she was taken from the attic. By who? Nazis? Yeah. Mm. So weird. We were just talking All about All that left was her memoir. At McDonald's today, we just saw a name that was half Jewish, half German. And I'm like, I wonder if they conceived in the Holocaust. What was it? Weintraub? Oh, we shouldn't say it. We shouldn't say what? it. <laughs> the name was a half Jewish, half German name. And That's I was Yiddish. Like, why, why are you letting her come to these crazy conclusions, <laughs> Moses? But in the Holocaust, <laughs> maybe they had the baby. That's where it came. Like, a well, there German was a lot of German Jews before the Holocaust. A lot okay, of them. Well, that's what I'm just trying to A lot say. of them. And there ain't any more. You get what I'm saying? No, because he's still alive. This guy, we saw this guy's name on a, on a billboard. So he survived. Okay, he survived. Good for him. I'm fascinated. Anyway, so I'm, on the, so I'm on the diet. The <laughs> oh, God. I'm so fascinated by it, for real. Well, there's plenty, of, there's plenty of reading material, trust me. It's very well documented. Anyway, so I'm on that <laughs> diet. I think I'm on 1,000 calories a day. I'm so sad That's and miserable. Yourself. It's sad. It's yeah, miserable. It's, yeah. not, it's not okay. They should not put people through this. They go, you're going to eat 1,000 calories a day. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, this is, this is not healthy to do it, but I'm doing it. You're so tall. You're like 5'10". Like you're right or five, how tall are you? I don't know. 11. Are you? I think. Yep. I'm so bad with people's heights. I really don't know. I'm like really bad at measurements. But <laughs> so, okay. but anyway, we, Ela's the one that suggested this. So I mean, Did peace she? and love. Because Ela was I like, I swear I to know. God, she's the one. Stan, please, for the record, it was Ela. Uh, yeah. Thank you. 
It was. I think you use so, frenemies as your excuse to eat. Well, of course I do. I'm on a thousand calories a day. I hate that I'm this person. Can I tell you every single friendship, relationship, friend group I've been in, I'm always the person like, let's go be with Trisha. We can just pick out and eat. It's like, that's not what I do all the time. I'm just not well, the person isn't it? to eat with. No, I'm, I have self-control. I, I skip dinners a lot. I eat salads. Like I'm not just this person to be like, let's just be a fat pig today with Trish. It's Trish day. It's time to eat like a big fat well, that pig. everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, these are interesting. I don't like the way these are labeled. Oh, he labeled okay. them. <laughs> so this is from a place that caught my eye. It's called Gay Burger. You just want to be controversial. No, I thought... <laughs> I, it's not my burger when chain. When you said that, I was like, oh, canceled. I, it's not my food. <clears throat> all the proceeds go to supporting... Ian, why don't you... Where did, what do they do, Ian? Ian? Uh, all the proceeds go to the Los Angeles LGBT Center for Homeless Youth. Isn't that that's great? Dope, that's yeah. Dope. And it was started by Elijah Daniel, which is so crazy. Good for him. Like, he's kind of been like a problematic YouTuber in the past. And I was like, where did he go? And he was like a rapper. And now he's like doing philanthropy. This is cool. I like it. Mm. So the gay burger. This is like the only real food I've had. That looks really bad, actually. I'm not going to. What disgusting, were these fries bro. called? What were the fries called? Uh, they're called the. Uh, the big jizz. Very gay fries. These are the very, very gay. gay fries. These are gay as, as it gets. <laughs> These are gay fries. These are very gay. What fries. are we gonna do for Gay Pride Month? This is it. Okay. This is my Gay Pride year right here. So, you want to name some of these sandwiches off that we have? Uh, yeah. The uh, the one I think you're eating is the Beef Me Up Scotty. <laughs> this is Beef Me Up Scotty. I'm gonna hit this. <laughs> I'm just gonna give this a real review because this is our mukbang. <laughs> Two patties. What's mine called? Mine's called the No More Milk Daddy. Oh, this is vegan. You That's said daddy so good. No More Milk Daddy. No More Milk Daddy. <laughs> you literally I, said I don't it like really that. I like daddy anymore. I think because I'm old. I'm like a mommy now. So, oh, this has like pickles. Oh. Go ahead. Keep reading them again. Uh, then the other one's the Love Me Daddy. Love Me Daddy. What's with the daddy? I think Elijah you Daniel is like, also old, huh? You say daddy like un daddy? unintentionally. You do the daddy. Daddy, like Zaddy, Daddy, yeah. Daddy. Um, yeah, mm. I don't know. I used to have daddy issues. They're resolved. Oh, they are. Yeah. How do you resolve daddy issues? Time. Just time. Yeah, I think you just become old. Did you old. talk with them? Did you work it out with them? No, my dad's like not a talker. We're cool. We're really good, but it's just like you just let things go. Yeah, I think over time you just gotta like. That's good. Accept him not being around for most of your life, and they're like, you know, he's here now. So yeah. To air is to human. It, to I don't air know what that is means. To, to air is to human. Well, I said it. To air is human. Humans <laughs> air. Oh, you don't like the gay, the gay chicken? What is this one called? I like chicks. Oh well, no wonder it's not good. It's gay burger. <laughs> oh, you think it's purposely bad? Yeah, they're like I like chick. The like, straight, the straight burger. Oh yeah, like chicks. Ew. Is that really? It's called I like chicks. Yeah. So why don't they call it the straight burger? Why well, wasn't I, I like dicks or something? I like chicks with oh, oh, dicks. For lesbians. Or I pansexual like or bisexual. Oh, okay. So look mm -hmm. at me. I'm so, see, yeah, canceled. We're done. Not me. I was I'm bold. done. I knew why. Um, and then is there any other fun? Come, give me, give me, give me, give me. Love me, daddy. You say daddy so funny. How? Say daddy three times. Daddy. 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 You know you're saying it funny. How should I say it? Say it. I'll try and repeat how you're Daddy. saying it. Daddy. Yeah. That's how you say it? Yeah. Daddy. Well, yeah. Daddy. That's a weird kink you have or something because you're making me say it so many times. You're like, well, mm, say it three times. Say you it just, again. You, you're literally walking around going, Daddy. That is the name of the I character. know, but it's the way you say it. <laughs> Ian, is there any other funny names? Uh, There is the... uh. Baby Daddy Grilled Cheese. Baby Daddy? What is, mm. Oh, the, the daddy. Where's that? I didn't see that. Uh, I've got it over. One here. Oh, you. you Whoa! Want it, you You're holding out on the baby daddy? Do you want it? You can have it. Uh, Dan has said you want it. No, here, have it. No, have it. No, I no, like no. the name. I love the name. No, no, no. There's a vegan one right there can for I you, Dan. Can I see it? Do you want the grilled cheese or do you want the, the grilled cheese? I'll, I'll do it later. It's, it's all good. I don't want to eat during the show. Either. Daddy. <laughs> daddy. By the microphone. What was this one called? Baby uh, daddy. The baby daddy grilled cheese. Baby daddy grilled cheese. What else we got? Oh. 
Wait, how is this vegan? <laughs> Ew, and it's also just like cheese that looks in a bun. You know what it looks like is a diaper change. It's like, so hard. Change my diaper, no, daddy. No, 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 like not even being funny. Mm -hmm. Look. <laughs> that's insane. There's no way that's a sandwich. Okay, no, okay. Daddy, change my diaper. This is what a dirty diaper looks like. <laughs> Have you ever changed a diaper? Dude, I've changed a billion diapers. Mm, have you? Why do you think I haven't changed a diaper? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know about this place. I mean... This burger's good, but it could just be because I've literally been living in... <laughs> You're just starving. I'm like North Korean diet. Is that more acceptable? North Korea diet? I eat yeah, my neighbor's dogs. I think they have YouTube over there, so they can't get offended. Yeah, but we all don't like North Korea, so it's good. Was it North Korea or South Korea? North, for sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wait, really? Oh. Yeah, because all the 90 Day Fiance people are usually from North Korea. No. Oh, South Korea. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. North Koreans are not allowed on 90 Day Fiance. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, I'll try the love. Wait, what's Love Me Daddy? Is that the burger? <laughs> Daddy? Oh, uh, yeah. I can't. Ugh. I'm just like not into like sauces and pickles. This one's a burger. Wait, wasn't there another beef this is burger? Like a vegan, but what? I don't understand what's vegan. Like the patty looks crazy on this one. Yeah, I think it's a vegan patty. Such a dainty little bite. No good. We're out on gay burger. That tastes like an intestine. <laughs> that is so gross. Look at that. It looks like little poops. I can't. I want to try it. Now. Oh. oh, it's so hard. I know. Oh, Ew. it's like rock hard. This one's good. I don't know what happened to this one. They are. Mm -mm. Uh uh. Ah. Nope. It ah. tastes like a plant. <laughs> Sorry, Gay Burger. I like the idea. I like that it goes for, for something charity. profitable. Guys, don't eat that. It's don't for charity. That. My dog's going to die if you eat this. Oh my God, don't say that. Well, I don't even know what it is. It's like weird ass. Eight, yeah, that was weird. That wasn't even like plant based. Like the Impossible Whopper is pretty good, but that is not it. Not plant based. What do you think it's made of? Rat mm -hmm. is rat poop uh, vegan? Ew, um, I don't no. think so. So anyway, that was Gay Burger. <laughs> Next time, let me pick something. I could have brought some Shamrock shakes up in this. I bin. thought it I was fun, like... funny, interesting. Charity. I thought Elijah Daniel did that. That was pretty good. Because him and Christine Sadelko, you remember her? You remember? You don't remember Christine Sadelko? She what? She became like this, like political activist. Actually, you guys would be friends. You guys are very politically politically charged. Is that the word? Do you think Elijah Daniels would be happy about our review of his food? Yeah, I think like all publicity is good publicity. Even for like your burger tastes like dog shit. He didn't make it. He probably didn't even try it. Oh, he's doing the sound for you to yeah, go with. Back the fuck off the mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. It was dope. How was your uh, Valentine's? I was just going to ask you that. I mean, mine was all over TikTok. I didn't see yours. We didn't do anything. We were you did just, nothing? We're being parents. It's like. Okay, but he goes to bed early at six. Not lately. So what did you guys do? You didn't order special food? He a goes, little pizza? Oh, no. You guys drink the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Valentine's Day? Look, Eli doesn't care about food. Trust me. If I was dating someone who had with peace and love. Someone who cared about don't food say the it. same way <laughs> I do. If you have to say it with peace and love, just don't say Someone anything. Someone who cares about food the same way I do. You know what I mean? But Ela's like... I think we care about food differently. I enjoy my food. I love it. I think you kind of just like shovel it back. I don't think you Are like... You, uh, oh, I don't think you enjoy it. you sit there and food shame me? <laughs> I'm not food shaming you. I don't think you enjoy it like I enjoy you it. I'm I think, an animal. I think... No. I think you're feeding like an insecurity. Mine is more like a luxury that I'm indulging in. I think I'm overindulging. I think you're feeding an insecurity. <laughs> I think there's two separate things. With okay, the whatever makes you feel better. Because you're not, you don't like. Me and you are the same. You think? Fat? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I love having a fat friend. I've never really had like a fat friend so we can both just like laugh at each ourselves. We like, could be so like, a si we should just say fuck it and be become like the 600 pound sisters. Why don't we go the opposite way and be like, hey, we're going to be this like fit couple that got a makeover. Not a couple, but you That's know what sad. I mean? Can we do acrobatic <laughs> Like acrobatic, like ribbon stuff, like in the um ribbon stuff. Yeah, like in the circus. How Two those fatties acrobat doing ribbons. You talking about aerials? Yeah, Excel? like you know, in in um Greatest Showman Zendaya, when her and Zac Efron are flying through the air on ribbons. <laughs> I feel like we would do that so good. I was listening to it this morning. Like we can just be like rewrite the stars and like tumble down out of the aerial gymnastics. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know what acrobatic gymnastics are? Is it just this shit with the no. ribbons? Where they go? The ribbons are hanging from the ceiling and you're spinning down the ribbons off the ceiling. And you think those ribbons could support us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Zach Efron and Zandaya did it. They did a beautiful dance. Yeah, and they're I feel like, like we could fit. Do it. They probably weigh like 100 pounds. Zach Efron's tiny. He weighs like 110 Actually, pounds. Zach Efron's pure muscle, so he probably weighs like your yeah, weight. Yeah, but he's but like 5'2". Like, that's not true. Look up Zach Efron's height. He's like 5'6", probably. <laughs> One time they approached me to work out with Zach Efron for his YouTube channel. Oh, he wanted to. He wanted to. Zach Efron's up. five eight, <laughs> five eight, tiny, manlet. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean that's like normal. Well, the thing is, like, can we do acrobatic? I, I, at gymnastics? least I, I'm taller than Zach Efron. Like, cool. Give me that. Are you? I feel like you're not that tall. Five eight. Acrobatic stunts. What did Dr. Phil invite you on a show for? I'm re- I was actually curious about that. Oh well, I meant to say this last time, and then our show got hijacked by. Um, Oh, more important oh, okay. things, which is David. Um, no, we were like away for the weekend. It was like a week and a half ago. And I've been on the Dr. Phil show before. So anyways, Dr. Phil, people email me they're like, hey, I should just say exactly. Okay, let me tell you how they phrase this email. Because normally I, I, if it's a talk show, I'm like, no, thank you. I'm not interested because it's usually trying to make you look bad. All those shows are exploitative, whatever. And I've already done the Dr. Phil. So anyways, I get an email. Okay, this is how it's worded. And then I'll tell you what the phone call was. She said... Good afternoon. I'm writing to you on behalf of a producer on the Dr. Phil show. We are interested in discussing your YouTube journey and your life story for an upcoming show that tapes in Los Angeles, California this month. If appearing on the show and talking about your experience is something that you're open to, please reply. So reiterate, we are interested in discussing your YouTube journey and life story for an upcoming show. And I was like, dope. Okay, they're going to do like a profile on me. Mm -hmm. So then I get the phone call and it's this guy and it was on speakerphone. So my fiance can attest to this, that this is real. I'm not lying since everyone thinks I lie about everything. And he's like, oh, Trish, like such a fan, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, cool. And then he's just like, yeah. He goes, so we love that you're like outspoken and that you know you're always in drama he goes but we don't want the drama on the show he goes but are, is it ever has it ever interfered with your family life like has family ever like you know they don't like like approve what you're doing and they would want to come on the show and confront you and i was like no my family's totally fine they like are totally proud of me they love what i'm doing whatever blah blah, blah. and he's like okay well what about if there's like a problem in like your relationship maybe like your fiance doesn't approve of whatever and so it became like this exploitative thing and I was like dude what like I'm pretty sad I'm pretty happy in life or whatever now and he's like yeah yeah I saw you just got a house and you're engaged and blah blah, blah. and I was just like I hate when they like waste my time but basically like when we come on the show and just make up a fake like yeah they like, hooked you with a nice email yeah that they want but they wanted me to be like but don't lie about what the show is just be like oh we want to exploit like if your family has a problem with you and i fucking hate that it wasted my time so much because we were like on vacation and i put aside like an hour to talk to these people and i was like waiting 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 for this phone call and that's what the phone call was i'm like dr phil's fake as fuck you know who you know who just had dr phil on their youtube channel jason predator dr. phil went on jason mm-hmm. Jeez, that's kind of and like what welcome. does that say about the company you keep dr phil was on literal a literal pr- well, harasser predator channel no it is the two guys have attested to this now dr phil's got to do his homework well dr phil's a piece of shit he's a croc his face he's got like a he looks he's like fake. mr potato head he's fake dr phil's fake i want to see that degree. oh yeah is it updated dr oh, phil yeah what doctor are you in? psychology do you think he looks you cheated like on your wife and you're giving advice on how not wait to he cheat? did yeah it's a they Who talk, fuck dr it. phil exactly he's literally like i would never he looks like mr potato head. i'd fuck anything and i would never fuck dr phil <laughs> Can somebody please acknowledge how much Dr. Phil looks like Mr. Potato Head? What's Mr. Potato Head? Dude, his face is so weird. It what looks like it looks like somebody put his like eyebrows, his nose, and then like, no, the nose goes here. You guys don't know what I'm talking about? Here, Mr. Hmm? Thank you. Moses knows what I'm talking about. Here. Mr. Potato Head is exactly Dr. Phil. Mm. <laughs> Except, like, I would even go as far to say Mr. Potato Head is maybe better looking than Dr. Phil. Less wrinkles. His his features are symmetrical, at least. Dr. Phil, you want to talk about looking like a corpse. That's what I'm saying. Like In person? I'm not even being funny because I worked at a he funeral home. He wears a lot of makeup, 18. I can tell. No, but he literally looked like one of those corpses I was in makeup Ooh. assistant. And he looked like a corpse. A cadaver. Or they, they, for, oh, he looks like an open casket funeral. Didn't I say that about you once? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that was my transition because that's a real one. And he was so dead behind the eyes. And I was like, did they just put like a heartbeat into him? It's like young Frankenstein where they just put a brain into somebody that was already dead. And I'm just right. like, what is this? He's too good of a moneymaker. He probably died five years ago and they just revived him. Like a weekend at Bernie's. You know, they say that symmetry is like the key to beauty. And if you look long at Mr. Potato Head, you'll notice that he has perfect symmetry. And what I'm trying to say is, I think I want to fuck Mr. Potato Head. His eyes are too close. Right. 
But I said if you have a far apart eyes, it's like more beautiful. You're like more beautiful. If what? If you have far apart, far apart, far eyes. apart, not yeah. that far apart. Mine are far apart. How far apart are you trying to spread your eyes? I don't know. I got some wide set eyes. I think it's a syndrome. I forget what it's called. Oh, people think I have Foz, that I'm a Foz baby. Because your eyes are far apart? Yeah. It's like if you look at. Your eyes aren't that far First of all, there's apart. nothing wrong with being a Foz baby, sec first of all. Second of all. Why if do you, you look call it a Foz baby? That seems derogatory. Oh, I don't know. That's what people call me. Maybe. That what is a Foz that? baby? Fetal alcohol syndrome. Oh. Pff. Have you looked at their, 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 their characteristics are me. Like the diagram of a baby with fetal alcohol syndrome. Not there's nothing wrong again. Nothing wrong with it if you're functioning. Ian, will you read the the features of a? No, let me show you because it's like it like the di the diagram. Looks Do your just mom like drink me. alcohol? I don't know. Hmm. You should ask her if you're a Foz baby. That could be. She probably deny it. Okay, so these kind of do, and again, there is nothing wrong with this. Where I'm just saying, like this could be me. Flat mid face, me. Thin upper lip, me. Short nose, me. That kid looks totally normal. I'm confused by this. Um, small eye openings. Flat this, mid. This looks like a normal girl. I mean, what what are they on about? I don't understand these. These people look normal. You have to send that to Dan. Okay. I want to ask you about something. What? I'm nervous. I hate when you don't prep me because I gave you the Joel Olstein like bit. You're like, here, send this to me. I'm like, no, you're gonna prep to like make a case against this poor yeah, girl. Yeah, because I want to know a poor girl. She's part of a criminal enterprise. No, she actually said I respect Ethan's opinion to like not like my uncle, but also like hear some facts. Yeah, he pays her. <clears throat> okay, I want to ask you about a video I saw on your channel. Okay, Trisha, and this is something I've harped on you for. Do you know what? I'm, it's a great old. Do you know what I'm gonna say, I have uh, no Moses? Idea. Wow, I'm surprised it has you guys to do with don't Moses? know. Yeah. Both of you guys. Okay. This is something I've told you time and time again, uh -oh. Trisha. Hire a fucking editor. Oh, what did I do? Okay. Did I edit? Oh, <laughs> I know what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> uploaded a, mook call, a video called Mookbang in My New House <laughs> with Moses. The first, like, two minutes. <laughs> Not two minutes. Is literally you guys <laughs> just <laughs> candidly <laughs> standing in your kitchen. Why? What is this? Well, I was doing a TikTok here, so I'm like, oh, guys, look at this. Is but why is this in your video? Oh, I, but it ended abruptly, too. I didn't, I forgot to edit it. <laughs> so you don't even edit your videos? I usually splice them together. Like, I put clips together. There was two more clips that I forgot to put with this video. I think it's amazing that you can upload a video on your YouTube channel <laughs> with two minutes of dead air. And nobody even said anything about it. They're like, no, a lot of people said something about it. I uploaded really? part two. I, I went through the comments and everyone, there, everyone, everyone was like, "This is Trisha's channel." No, everyone's like, "Why did it end so abruptly?" Like everyone did say that because this one did end very abruptly. This is like if we started the podcast and just stood here, <laughs> stared at the camera. But There's like something the real about it. I like it. Don't act like it was intentional. Well, no, this was definitely not intentional. Look at I, Moses. I, we were. I was in such a grumpy mood to him. This was the day we moved, and I was so. You guys almost had an Ace Family moment. Oh, that would have been bad. Yeah. <laughs> you guys start fighting or something a little bit. You squabble a little bit. I, we, I said I tried to lead it. I'm like, I don't think we did anything bad in this because I was a little like. It's like you never know. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't watch this all candid. All right, Wait, why are we so boring? We have other food We're coming. So this is like. I just like oh, you're on camera now. You're talking to them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now okay. I couldn't tell. You're on. Your content is so riveting. I couldn't even tell. Thank you. I feel like we're friends now. I don't even like making fun of you anymore like that. Um, yeah, we uh, we talked on the okay, we talked on the phone for the first time on Friday night and it gave me so much anxiety before and after. Oh, you didn't like it? I hated it. It was awful. <laughs> and what? Moses was sleeping, so I was like really anxious. I like stayed up all night. I was like in a corner literally like shaking cuz I was thinking like did I fuck it up? Did I say something wrong? Like I hate being on the phone with somebody. Oh, you were in your head over what we talked about? Yeah. Oh. I was like, fuck, I fucked it up. Like, I didn't say the right thing. Like, I hate talking oh, to really? people. Oh, really? Well, I won't call you anymore. No, I liked it. It was nice. <laughs> oh, but you liked it. Yeah, because I was like, oh, that was cool. Because you're like, we're like friends. Yeah. And then I got really, I couldn't breathe when you said that. I was like, <gasps> like, I literally, I, oh, I was well, like. Oh, well, I called her. And I was like, look at us, Trisha. We're on the phone. We're friends. Isn't this funny? And I like couldn't breathe. So I just started going off on a tangent about something else. I was like, no, so anyways, that. yeah, I started talking really fast. So I was like, okay, so then we're going to, I just was trying to like go to the subject. So we didn't have to make small talk. I was oh like, God. yeah, let's just glaze past this. I thought it was a great conversation. It gave me anxiety, and I got off and I was, uh, I was happy about it. I was happy about it. The next morning I was like, oh yeah, I got to talk to Ethan and Neil last night. Like. We just had a conversation. Okay. It was cool. I, I liked it. It was fun. And Moses was sleeping, so I was like, oh, you missed that. We were, like, all on the phone together. Like, right. It was a good time. Um, we were talking about the drama, and I was just, you know, wanted to talk to her because it was all so intense. That's how, it. 
How about Marilyn Manson? I have a Marilyn oh, another Manson story. One. Okay, who could have ever seen that <laughs> one coming? Marilyn Manson, the totally normal looking dude, ended up being a total pervy. Marilyn Manson. Predator. When we went to a CD signing at Hot Topic, I went with my sister. You went to Hot Topic signing? <laughs> yeah. That's like the uncoolest thing This ever. is like 2006. This is a while ago, like when he was with Dita Montes. I think How he was like. How did he ever recover from that? I don't know, but he wrote on our album. I'm, Callie, she watches. If you have the album covers, let me know. Because we had him sign our album covers. And he said to me, he goes, you have really big tits. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. What? <laughs> wait, wait. This is not the worst part. I was 18. My sister was like 13. And he goes to my sister. Oh, no. No. He's okay. Sorry. We got this background. My what? sister is 13. <laughs> Hold on, wait. You know, he always had this persona of like deep down underneath the makeup. I'm just a <laughs> normal, totally cool dude. No. He he went to my sister. My sister was first. I had my sister go first. She was 13. And he goes, you have really big tits. And he wrote that on her CD cover. And then he said to me, he goes, he wrote, he said to me, he goes, oh, I like yours. Yours are even bigger tits. <laughs> that was my story. Man. Yes. That's creepy. <laughs> right off the bat, just someone he doesn't even know. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Is his music sexual? I've never listened to it. Like later on, his music did like heart shaped glasses. That was the one with Evan, Evan, Evan and Rachel Wood. Some of his exes said horrible things about him. Um, yeah, that's my only story I have with him. You never hear that about Adam Sandler. You never hear like. No. Could you imagine if there was like a string of like people? Oh, I couldn't I deal guess with Tiger that. Woods. It was kind of like that. Well, Tiger's like an alpha athlete. Adam Sandler's like an alpha billionaire. Yeah, but he doesn't have that like. Uh, that those athletes are all like jacked up on testosterone and like steroids and shit. Lamar Odom versus Aaron Carter. <laughs> you you didn't even know what was you that mentioned like, that. And I was like, I don't know about that. I used to date Aaron Carter. We went on a couple dates. Yeah, He's I been in some vlogs. He was. I'm not gonna say anything, but him fighting. Is he a good lover. No, I wasn't gonna Horrible. say that. I mean, I don't know. It was penis not. size. Average. Average, because he's pretty tall, right? Oh, yeah, skinny. He's very skinny. He's like 100 pounds, but not skinny shaming. I love skinny. I think it's hot. Mm -hmm. And you like fat. Uh, yeah. Is I'll there take what I can get? So let me see if there's any. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we don't do anything else. Okay. PSA If you see me out in public, do you know what is the most annoying thing? And like, I love that people like know me and like want to talk to me and take a picture with me. That's my favorite thing in the whole world. Like, I truly, truly love having conversations with people out in public. Like, I love it. Like, it's so cool. People like still care about who I am. Two very annoying things. Don't like it. Literally pissed me off so much. Is like, oh, okay, a lot of things. One, if some, if you have your friend come up to me, like I have no idea who you are, but that person, like my friend, wants a picture with you. Like, no, I'm not gonna do it. Like you're fucking annoying. Two, I, I have that. no idea who you are, but can you do? Can I do a TikTok with you? Well, fuck you. You know who I am. And two, no, I'm not gonna do a TikTok. Three, asking me to do more than one TikTok with you in the middle of Sir La table. We're like trying to buy pots and pans, and literally this like 14 year old. They don't want a picture. They don't want to talk to you. They want to do a fucking TikTok with you, and then they ask you to do like multiple ones in Target. This girl comes up to me a dozen times. Can you say hi to this person? Okay, comes up. Can you say? She keeps following me around Target to say hi to people. And do a fucking TikTok. The TikTok's I'm crazy like, because you know they're going to get a shitload of views with you being in it. Just, I have like a family that's private that doesn't like to be on camera. They don't like, you know. Just like say it, no. Like, I finally did. We were in that Sir La table, which is like this like b boring kitchen thing. And I finally was like, no, because this guy, this like. It's hard to say no. It feels it's bad. So it's so hard. And then hard, this 14 yeah. year old boy was like, I don't know who you are, but my friend wants to do a TikTok with you. I said, I literally don't have time to do this. I'm like, I can take a picture and say hi. It's Just like, say, I don't do that, but uh, I can say hi. No, but you know what? They're all filming you at all times. Like they, they come up to you filming you. So you just look like an asshole no matter what. And I'm just like, I'll take a picture with you, like whatever. It's just, and it's like not, again, I don't complain because I like love taking pictures. I love talking no, to but people. These but these aren't like, yeah, I get that. That's the least favorite thing people uh, say to me on the street is like, um, I or first of all, this is the weirdest thing is sometimes you'll get like mobbed and then someone they're like, I don't know who you are, but can you take a photo with me? I, I was like, why do you want a fucking photo? You, you, you lit I'm just usually like, hey, hey OK, when that happens, because I just want to uh, get on with COVID, it. But COVID, don't come near me now. No, no. People... I, I, oh, I haven't. I don't go outside with the COVID. That would be I'd be like, nah, dude. Yeah, we like couldn't. That happened. We did get mobbed up in San Step Louis back Christmas. is what I'm, I I don't go in public. Nobody recognized they me. Let, they opened up the restaurant for us to eat indoor because the outdoor was causing too much chaos of us eating outside because like all of a sudden. Oh, for all, real? Yeah. You're it, such a big deal. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, it was a Where small, were you guys eating? It was in San Luis Obispo, so it was like a smaller town. Wait, you guys were went out chasing them. They you, were, uh, oh, they, my God. They TikToked it. This person in the car ran red lights to chase us. I mean, Moses got the And you guys got to eat inside an exclusive indoor seat? Yeah, we got to eat at Dolly Parton's Oh, well, I'm going to have to report you to the uh, CDC. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, we That's were the a only violation. ones in there. We were the only ones in there. Yeah, so. but rules are rules. <laughs> the doors are open. <laughs> That's crazy. No, See, I haven't people got, were like trying to hug me, and I'm like, ah, COVID. 
Yeah, don't I know what the fuck? I was actually freaked out. We got tested like twice after that because I I freak out more for you guys because my like like someone in my family's already had COVID, so like I'm not as worried oh, for about real? it. Who yeah, didn't we not talk about it? No. I feel like well, people are like, why don't you talk about? It? My mom talked about it, so she can talk about it. But she had it right before Christmas, like right when we went oh on my break. Gosh. My mom when we got okay? engaged. No, so. Like right the day after, no, the day we got engaged, the night my brother's like calling me and we were like up in the sand dunes or whatever. So we weren't getting reception. We come down and I'm like so excited we got engaged. And my brother was like kept calling me and he like never called me. It's really rare for my brother to call me. Not that we're not close. He just has his family, whatever. He kept calling me. He's like, mom's really, really sick. And this is like mm. the 19th. So this is when we're on break now. This is the 19th. And I was like, oh shit. And so we were four hours away. I'm like, do you want us to come home? Mom's like, I'm fine. Two days later, she tests, she tests positive for COVID. Oh. I was always negative. My sister. I didn't only, know this. Yeah. Well, I knew you were like weird about it. So I didn't want to say anything. But at the same time, like this was during our break and we got tested. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just didn't want you to like freak out because I get it. Mm. You know, whatever. Um, um, and but but this was our two week break, and honestly, like I said, if like we got tested so much, and if it was like not our two week break, well, wait, I I, I, I well anyway, glams. I want to know how your mom, how your mom. I canceled multiple glams that week, like that that following Monday, I was supposed to get glammed. I canceled it because like because I'll tell you why. So yeah, my mom, she, she was living in an apartment building at the time. We just got her house now, but like she was living in an apartment building, so we think she must have got it from there because like mm. I get tested all the time and we never leave like mm -hmm. we go once in a while and my sister literally never never leaves so we're like this is so weird that she got it we got tested whatever she got it and my mom has pre-existing conditions so we were like a little nervous but she was like i'm fine i'm fine everything's like okay and i was like okay but then what was it christmas eve christmas eve she calls 911 she calls an ambulance and my mom mm -hmm. never complains my mom's not a hypochondriac like mm -hmm. Excuse me. She like doesn't complain about anything, and so she's like, I like, I literally, she's like crying. She called me. She's like, she's like, I don't know if nine one one got disconnected. Can you call them? So I'm calling nine one one to send her to my mom's house, and my mom basically nine one took her vitals and everything like that, and they're really bad. Like she's doing really really bad, and they're like, we have to leave you here. Like we can't the take you to hospital. Are full. Yeah. Oh my god! This was Christmas Eve, and my Holy mom shit. is like calling my brother, and she's like crying. She's like, I like, I know I'm gonna die. Like I'm not ready to die. Like it was like really traumatic. And my mom is just not that person. So. This is Christmas Eve, and I was what like, What was Fuck. her symptom? She was having trouble breathing? Yeah, she already has, like, an, a condition with, like, she's, like, on medication for and stuff like that for, like, her breathing, like, lung-related. Mm. And so she, yeah, she, oh, she, yeah, she couldn't breathe. She literally was like, I'm, I'm gonna die. And, like, she, and she's had COVID, she had COVID at that point for, like, a week. And, again, this is the 19th, this is when we're on our break, like, everything's done, like, every, whatever. And I had just tested for my music videos, like, everything. I'm still negative. I've been negative. Thank God. Um, I think I think I had COVID like a while ago, in my opinion. I haven't gotten tested for it, but I think I had it like a really long time ago. But um, so anyways, my my brother was like, hey, can you drive mom? So I, I had to take my mom down to Irvine because my mom's like, there's just no way I'm going to like make it. Like I'm literally going to die. And I was just like, fuck. So we oh, called you drove with her in the car. Scary. Yeah. So but like what I'm, there was nothing else I can do. And my mom and I know hospitals do have like they can give you something like there is something if you ask for I forget what it's called there's something with like an R or something that they can help you oh breathe. yeah 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 so remizadir yeah and I was like I don't care how much it is like we need to get my mom well she might need a ventilator if she's treatment. really treatment yeah so because of her age like they were actually really good like we were surprised they, they had a tent and stuff like that and I, yeah so I'm driving I put my mom in my back seat windows are down I have like three masks yeah. and I'm like really scared I mean yeah. Um, so we drove her down and whatever. And I guess, I don't know what they, I guess they ended up doing something. She didn't get better right away, but she did get better. And that's it, so scary. Like, I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. Well, I know you knew someone else that had COVID. I know you guys, and I rightfully so. But like I said, if we didn't come back to filming till like the 6th of January. So it's like, she had already tested negative a bunch of times. Like we didn't see that's her at good. all. Like for Christmas, we didn't see her. We didn't see my sister. We were supposed to see my sister on Christmas. Didn't see her. I'm not mad. You didn't tell me. It sounds like you're responsible. I was just worried that you went. I mean, I can't believe you went through all that. And I didn't even know. Yeah. It was like a lot. I, I was it was really really scary that's how i get so pissed i like get so pissed at people because she has an apartment building where there's like a lot of young kids like she's like she, or she was in a beach city and like nobody wear masks it's hermosa beach like nobody wears masks mm. in hermosa beach that's where she lived and whatever and it just like pisses me off so much because like and we know we know two people who died like personal family yeah, members me that have too. died yeah i know so. a few people that have died now it's like everybody's got to know a few people that died now and the fact like Okay, I was watching the Joe Rogan podcast and I saw a clip of it and Joe Rogan goes, someone goes, are you getting the vaccine? And Joe Rogan was like, no, I don't need it. And it pissed me off so mm. much. And then I saw Elon Musk. Ugh. Someone say, are you getting the vaccine? And Elon goes, no. Ugh. Like defensive, like, of course not. I don't need it. And like, it, why so arrogant about it? Like, if you're going to be a dumbass, just stay silent about it. Like, don't encourage other people to be dumbasses. Like, just passing it it's around. Just, like, it's, it is. It's so upsetting. Does my hair look good? I just got a haircut. It feels kind of, like, round here. Yeah, I feel like when you get fresh haircuts, it has to grow out a couple days, it right? A few like, days. Yeah, I think you should, like, bleach your hair or something. No. Blonde. No. No? How about for a photo shoot? Okay. 
<laughs> okay. I have a really good Actually, idea. Actually, for a look, it'd be fun. If we were doing, like, dress up, I'd bleach it for that. I think you should bleach blonde your hair. God, I look like such a freak. You did that one, didn't you? I'd rather shave off my eyebrows and head. Oh, yeah, for... For a video, yeah. Yeah. How come, I wanted to ask you, what's the deal with your black hands? You do black hand. It's racist. First of all, no. Okay, we're... show the back. You did the video about AV when you're all angry and your <laughs> hands were all black. And I was like, girl, you're what the You're taking away from the point. You were the one that's like, oh, distracted. You're like, look at her hands. That's not the point of the video. Okay, but why are your hands black? Like, how what, How does that happen? My spray tan lady. Oh, somebody did that to you? Yeah. I would figure that would just like a sloppy self. No, thing. when I do it myself. You paid like, someone to do that? Yeah, and then I paid her. Oh, God, I love her. She's really sweet. But then on top of it, she wanted a TikTok shout out. I'm like, girl, my hands look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like, like, shout out to my girl <laughs> if you want to look like me. They were worse because I got it. Wait, how did she fuck up your hands like that? What's I don't understand how that happens. Was she just. I think you're supposed to put lotion on them or something. That just she the hands do. more absorbent or something? I've never had that. I don't know. <laughs> Like, why would you even do the hands? Just skip the hands. No, you definitely need hands, but it just, like, it looks kind of crazy. It's just, like, absorbed really crazy. That's awesome. I saw it, and I was like, dude, what? It looked like you had a tanning accident where you were like, He's, wow, I can't believe you. How much you pay her? I paid her a lot because she has to come out to, like, where we live. We're further from L.A. now, so I, like, paid her. How much? I think $200, which is a lot for a spray tan. And wanting a shout-out, too. I'm like, okay, like, you got to pick one. Calm down, like, girl. <laughs> yeah. It's not even a TikTok shout out. That's my biggest platform. I'm kind of popping on there. I had to do a prank today for a sponsorship on TikTok. Oh, you got a sponsor on TikTok? Yeah. Through the TikTok platform? Yeah. How does that work? I got to get on I, that. I show you. But um, yeah, through the marketplace. And so they they paid me money to do this like dare. It was like the drink. It's called like do or drink. It's not a sponsorship now, but like this, like a do or drink. And so you have, they wanted me to do a dare and they picked the dare that I have to do. Like it was on a card and it was to call a pizza place and ask for a penis shaped pizza. And I hate doing that so much. Like I had the most anxiety this morning doing it. I was like, oh my what? God. For like an app or something? No, it's a card game. You pull a card and you have you to do just, what it says or you, you have to take a shot. harass poor retail workers? She was pissed. I think she was annoyed about it. She's like, yeah. no. It's like, listen, I got shit. I'm, look, I make minimum wage. Why are you fucking with me? About I hope they said it was okay. Did you say penis shaped? Yeah. That's rude. To who? To the worker. Yeah. It was How bad. How much you get paid for that? Um, I don't know. What should I say? I don't know. Not, not as much as you would think. I don't know. It's weird to say. I'm so Talking curious. Money is so weird. It, it was good for like a 60 second TikTok. You know what I mean? Like it's pretty good. Okay. But I want to. I'll, do, I'll, um, I'll ask for a penis. Fucking. <laughs> I know pie. you would. You yeah, love me. I'll take a pe I'll uh, take ten penis pies, please. I right, pay me. Bye. I can't wait for TikTokers to just go away. Like TikTokers, like not TikTok, but TikTokers. I'm so over all of them. Did you see the? Do you care about any of this? <laughs> I'm listening. Bryce Hall. Okay, I know Bryce Hall. He's the little guy with the little hands and the one who wears the... The little guy with the little hands. He's also really short. <laughs> Why? I never heard that about him. Bryce Hall height. Dan's on it. He knows. <laughs> what is the deal <laughs> people's height? It's all I have. Oh, he's sick. That's not him. I'm 5'11". <laughs> I'm not even that tall. But like... Bryce Hall, apparently. He's not even like the Bryce Hall. He's like Bryce Hall, the fucking... Right, TikTok, TikTok. I know. Loser. <laughs> Try to get the real Bryce Hall name, then talk to me. <laughs> For Five real, nine. though. Five, Five nine. nine. Okay. Well, not that crazy, but. Um, Manlit. Oh, yeah, it's so normal. And it's mm. also so embarrassing because he thinks like Ariana Grande is using him for clout. But meanwhile, he's not the first Bryce Hall to pop up when you Google him. Did you hear him say he that? Said that? Yeah, because Ariana Grande is like, I wish people would stop going to Saddle Ranch during a pandemic. And he goes, wow, Ariana Grande just trying to use us for clout. OK, we see you. It's like, really? Like, he's clout? so. And they're not this. Yeah, look it up. Bryce Hall, Ariana Grande. <laughs> so what did Bryce Hall do? Um. Um. Okay, so he did. Oh, yeah, it comes up to it. So he did like a prank over the weekend that he was cheating on oh. his girlfriend. What are you seeing it? <laughs> I think I saw the the photo where everyone's like, "This is obviously fake." It was like a Valentine's Day thing, and it was yeah. But yeah. here's the worst part: is <laughs> the media, bro? You're not a, you're not a big deal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pranking the media. Yeah, my phone is just full of fetal alcohol babies. Thank you, Trisha. If you guys are curious, <laughs> it just looks like a normal kid. Was he yeah, got a big forehead? A, yeah, I, I have that too. I mean, I do okay. Let me look see. Like... <laughs> let me see. Look at me. Okay. Oh, look at you. Does your mom? Oh, you don't have like these really thin lips. I did. These are all injections. Remember the bruised lip situation? That was from injecting my lips. So, does your mom drink alcohol? Um, she did. Yeah. Oh, she you're an there. alcohol baby. Yeah, maybe. But doesn't affect like your mental acuity too. But you're pretty sharp, I think. 
not when it comes to all, everything. I was going to pay $80,000 well, for do, security this weekend. Right. <laughs> well, you also don't know what gravity is, so there's that. Mm. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> What's up, You said you didn't know what. Okay, oh, okay. We've known each other for a while. Idiot. Addison approved of this second girl. I'm going to be pr- Yeah, to second break off. <laughs> exactly. Dude, Addison you're so embarrassing. How are you going to prank the media when you Google Bright Hall and you don't even show up first? <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. To Lauren, we've known each other for a while. Addison approved of this girl. I'm going to be pranking the media into thinking that I'm a cheating scumbag. So I'm going to FaceTime Lauren right now Prank, and huh? ask her if she's down. This is the generation oh. raised by David Dobrik <laughs> that thinks this is like so funny. I'm, che- I'm going to prank people to thinking I'm a scumbag. It's like, hey, it's not a prank. Down are prank, you bro. to fuck with the media? Maybe a cheating prank? I'm down. Dude, I haven't been in this scandal in a while. So I feel what? like it's just that time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we need a paparazzi that we can trust to make this completely believable. Do you trust Girls Kevin? Think he's cute. I, trust him. I mean, like, what up, I'm, Kevin? I'm, me and Addison are about to like break the No, but it's like 12 year olds. It's like you always know like heartthrobs are always for like the young girls. It's not the people their age. Like 18 year old girls are not finding Bryce Hall attractive. Like it's like the little kids. You know what's interesting? When I was a kid, Jonathan Taylor Thomas was like the heartthrob. Do you yeah. remember that? Mm-hmm. And I looked back at pictures of him. Here, let me pull it up. And I, John. Uh, he looked a little bit like an elf. Right. But I love elves. Like Bernard the elf from the Santa Claus is like one of my favorite elves. Where oh, but do you want to fuck elves? Um, no. I mean, and he's pretty handsome. But like it was the hair parting and everything. It's just mm-hmm. so funny. Like, Where is he at? Look at this hair. It's like a straight up fucking whole body mullet. It's he kind of like looks a- like Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Yeah, the mm, don't little do hoodie. Don't you bring that back. I like don't it. Don't do it. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> to hell? I mean, that's a lot. He kind of looks like little hoodie. Like, that's an attractive boy for yeah, that age. I mean, that's a lot, though. That whole for outfit and everything. I don't know why he's... Oh, that's a Tom Sawyer. Didn't he play Huckleberry Finn or something? Or Tom Sawyer? One I don't remember. But but you want to see what he looks yeah. like now? You think it's kind of interesting to see. Just Yeah, they never age well. Macaulay Culkin no. aged better, though. He looks better now than he did. Didn't you say... I don't know. What did he offer you to be on his podcast? No. Oh. Here is what I'm it looks like. Now. Podcast. Oh, wow. He looks like Tyler Oakley. He looks like a lesbian. Jonathan Taylor Thomas became Tyler Oakley. Is he, it racist? Is it mean to is it bad to say he looks like a lesbian? I can't say he looks like a lesbian. I think like that's maybe now in 2021. I think there is that stereotypical lesbian haircut that's offensive, but Yeah, he looks like a lesbian. That just means like you look like Ellen. <laughs> Because there's a lot of guys that, like, look like Alan. And I think it's funny to say, you look like a lesbian. No good? Moses gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> I mean, look, look, as someone who's trying to goof around, there's got to be some line I could fuck around with. And maybe not gay rights line. I'm not saying take the rights away. I'm just saying he looks like a lesbian. I think that's, like, stereotyping. I'm not, listen, everybody knows what that's I mean, what though. Joel Osteen's not, I just got to do a quick shout out to him and then we'll be done. Oh, but also back to back. Shout to out Bryce to Joel Hall. Osteen. Is this really the time? I mean, talk about hate. Joel Osteen is not pro gay rights. He's pro Jewish rights. He let them in. What does that have to do with gays? Days. They're the same. They're both oppressed. Yeah, but what if, what if he likes the Jews and hates the gays? Joel Osteen hates the gays. That's so not true. Oh, please. I guarantee you. That's how they make you the money. You can't say that. You can't just say that. <laughs> Right. Somebody fact check that. How does Joel Osteen feel about gay people? Fashion Nova keeps wanting to work with me. They keep trying to come back with more offers. <laughs> are they gonna get cut me in? Huh? Are they making are they making it a better offer? Like a more it lucrative? It was worse. And I was like, no, I'm passing. Worse. And then they're like, how about let's try one test? And I was like, maybe, but then they haven't gotten back to me. I'm trying to find the thing. Anyways, back to Bryce Hall before we finish that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't transition from saying pro gay rights. <laughs> oh, to Bryce Hall? I can't call, say Jonathan Taylor Thomas looks like a lesbian and then say, I want to give a shout out to Joel Austin, who literally hates gay people. He does. Joel, not, oh, here it is. Joel Austin tells Larry King, scripture says homosexuality is a sin. I rest my case. Ew. Well, but, then we need to cancel Joel Osteen on this podcast. Hello, all these Anti-Joel guys. Anti Joel Osteen podcast. All these guys hate gay people. Wait, it's like, really? Yes. Is that real? Can That's we fact like, check the fact checker over dude, there? All of these guys. <laughs> I mean, we said it in an interview. It's, literally, all of these. That shouldn't fun- be a surprise. It might no, be, yeah, all these I mean, fundamental Christians don't like gay people, straight up. Well, maybe it's not that. The- they just think it's a sin. They, they think it's a sin. Yes. They disagree. They That's think you're going to go to hell. And that a lot of them think that you're causing hurricanes. I've even heard that. I mean. <laughs> Like straight up, they're, but they do they think these people were biologically created like they weren't? No, like, they think it's a choice, and they're choosing to go the walk the devil's path. 
because they want to be gay. Which oh is my straight. god! Hello, these are the people. This is Joel Austin. All right, I can't defend. He's you a scumbag. Austin. Sorry, damn. I was really going to make my case. Go for it. No, go anti- argue it now. No, I dare you to argue now. Who's not with the gays? Okay, is not with me. So now that we've covered that, Joel, you got to admit that he looks like a lesbian a little bit. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. He's handsome. Mm. Actually, there's a really funny SNL skit where Kate McKinnon talks about the first time she masturbated and knew she was gay was Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Like she masturbated to Jonathan Taylor Thomas and that's when she knew she was gay. She goes, this is the first time I knew I was like a lesbian because she thought he was a girl. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I think it was called like, it was on SNL. It was like some Backstreet Boys parody. That's kind of backup decent. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's funny. See, thanks for packing me up here. It, is there he, are some. Where's bo- he at now? I don't know. I showed you a picture of him now. What am what, 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 I? What am I? His fucking biographer. <laughs> he was on Tool Time. What, what do I know? Someone also emailed me. Home Improvement. <laughs> it, well, you know. No, Tool, no, tool, time, tool time was, was the show yeah. within the show. Apologies. Yeah. Apologies. There's no salt on these gay fries. They need more salt on these nuts. I need. I, <laughs> That didn't even make sense. Yeah. I need, I need the tears. Yeah, I was going with the gay theme. Nuts. Gay I, I wish like nuts. that um, Joe lost him a cry on these fries. Add some salt. Someone emailed me and asked if they got a frenemies tattoo, do they get free merch? There's no merch. Oh, it's not happening anymore? No, it is. But like, what am I going to give to them? It's happening. When it comes out. Because they think it's already going to. People are already anticipating it's all going to sell out. And they want to get the piece in advance. If I don't want to encourage someone to tattoo their body with our logo. The merch is much cheaper than a tattoo. Just. Just Good point. It. But I think they're thinking like it's going to sell out. Like, because that is the bullshit thing when you have money and you're ready to buy stuff and it already sells out. Fucking Jacqueline Hill, I'm looking at you. She put her pal on sale and it all sold out 15 minutes before it was on sale. That's some bullshit. Yeah. What's that's, that marketing we, scheme? we made that mistake once on Teddy Fresh where we we were just trying to get things up and then we put it up like, a, like 10 minutes early just because it was ready. But that's messed up because there's a lot of people that get there on time. I got so the, we don't do that anymore. The We're, Jaclyn Hill one, I was there like it was it was it was something shady with that one though. I was there 45 minutes. But I thought early. you don't like her. Yeah, but I was I knew this was gonna be a thing, so I was like trying to get the, it was some like mystery box or something. I was trying to get the thing she was selling, and it was already sold out. For I was in line for 45 minutes. That's some bullshit. I put it in my cart and it was out. Good for her. No, it, no, it was something sketchy. I think she. I forget the theory. Look at a drama channel. What that she marked it sold out. We what could it possibly be? I don't know. I, she's so boring to me. Like, I literally can't. But you're, there you are buying her shit. Because I wanted to get the views with, like, Jacqueline Hill uh, sitting here in lipsticks or whatever she had, you know? So I was, like, trying to be that person. I couldn't even get it. What if so. you actually liked it? Oh, yeah. Well. Would you just not make the video? Oh, no. I'm not, you like, a shitty a? person. I'm not going to just be like, oh, this is good. Fuck her. No, I probably would have been like, oh, I got it. It's good. And you would admit. But it's not. Because I saw her hairy lipsticks and those had hair in them. Hmm. Mystery boxes are like this, like bullshit, where they have like nothing, like like Jeffrey Star's like expired shit or whatever, and they put it in a box, and then they're like, here, here's a mystery box, buy it. It's like stuff that people didn't want. I, do I don't that. know if it's expired, but you know what I mean. It's, can we turn this into a drama channel though about Jeffrey and the J hair by J? Go thing? ahead, I'm um, I'm just eating I French fries. The, I saw the drama channel talk about this, and now oh. obviously Jeffrey's working with hair by J again, which is like actually like what has it been like five days? <laughs> yeah, he's like okay, he's fine now, which is really just a jab at like fuck your show, whatever. They blocked me on everything, which is kind of everything. But I have a theory that I bet like wait, wait, wait. they both blocked you. Yeah, I literally can't see anything. Because Jeffrey, by the way, he made this tweet. He's like, good morning to everyone but that guy, <laughs> that hair guy that said rude things. To and Trisha. then unfollowed him. And Literally five days later, blocked <laughs> you, followed him back. Tagged him. Like, that, tagged him. <laughs> and still did, like today, yeah, like tagging pre- him. I think you're right. It's pretty much him being like, I can do what the fuck I want. Yeah, but my theory is he's always being nice to me because of Shane and my friendship. But now that me and Shane are like, like this. But I also feel like since they discounted all of Shane's merchandise on the killer merch and on the website, I feel like they're distancing themselves in some way. Something must have happened behind the scenes. And so like that's well, why. Well, clearly nobody's theory. buying it. I mean, if it's been on his website, how long ago was that series? No, but like merch. They were making new merch, even though Shane wasn't promoting it. Like they kept coming out with merch while Shane was canceled. Mm. It was really weird. I don't know. But that was my theory behind it. I was just like, oh, well, they probably have like a falling out too, which honestly, they need to distance himself. I don't think Shane is like the devil. I think he made a deal with the devil, which is Jeffrey. I think Ryland's boring as fuck and just doesn't need a podcast. And I think that's it. That's my triangle take on all of them. He's so boring. He tried to leak his own nudes that he already leaked like years ago and tried to make it the podcast. Like, fuck, I got leaked again. No one cares about you, Ryland. You only get 145,000 views on a leaked nude that you leaked five years ago. It's just him on all fours from the side. It's not that that Shane posted already. It wasn't leaked. Shane posted it years ago. And I think he's like, wow, guys, I was trying again like i bought my doesn't shane, all, I'm su- doesn't shane only fuck cats i'm surprised that they even are intimate 
That's probably why he was on all fours to emulate a cat. Dude, your mask off with Shane. I can say anything now. He's disgusting. And when I like find out more shit about him, not to like go in the past. Did you watch like, the Ugh. Wallace video yet? I did. Yeah, that's the D'Angelo Wallace. It was good. Disturbing. Yeah, I didn't know half that stuff. Like I said, I blindly defend. No, him. I don't understand. Blindly, don't even blindly defend your friends. Don't even blindly defend your family. Because let me just put this around. Like if did it you was just like quote to Moses when you said that, huh? You're like, don't blindly defend your family. You pointed right to Moses. <laughs> no, we're all good. <laughs> I'm just saying. Are you that, I, I'm just calling out what I saw. God, you felt that, right? She pointed at you. No, he wouldn't blindly defend his family. He's really honest about his family. You know, like whatever. He's just open book. Just about felt like it. you were calling him out. But I, you're not. You're no, what I'm saying. saying is, I wouldn't. Are blindly... you going to drink that water? Where'd that come from? We brought it down for you. When? In the very beginning. It's been there the whole time. Do you remember the movie Matilda where she tried to tip over the water with just her eyes and she's like. So, can I drink that? your water? Can I drink it first? No. You have it. You touched the rim. I you don't want it anyway. You ate the same burger I ate. What? No, I bit from the back. What are you, crazy? No, no I don't want that. I don't want that. What are you, crazy? <laughs> Anyways, I hope they distance themselves. For Shane's sake, he could still be saved by Jesus. Just distance yourself from the devil, denounce it, debuke it, and that's it. Jeffrey should distance himself from society. Just go live in a cave. Yeah, make like Marilyn like Manson it and disappear. Make a glam cave yeah. out in the wilderness. Go take your Pink. money and your non-rented house. Like, you know, that's all. If that's what you have to boast about is you that you don't rent your house. Like, you have some like. No, actually, what he <laughs> did say, because I was paying attention. He yeah. said, I actually put a big down payment on my house. So my mortgage is low. So ah. what Jeffrey broke ass star said is he's <laughs> had the mortgage on his house. Ah. The bank owns your house. Yeah, fucking loser. You oh, broke. That's joke. what he said. Yeah, he has he a mortgage. He bragged about putting a big said, down payment down. So I don't, so my mortgage is small. You're still mortgaging, bitch. You're yeah. still broke. Mortgaging. Broke. Oh my. Take the L. <laughs> Take the M for mortgage, loser. <laughs> how, how does you a thing where people pick on people for like renting houses? It's so insane to me. Like I cannot, that to me is so, and like the greasy skin comment, all that stuff like that. Like, Oh, I'm not going to be mean. I'm just going to hold myself back because like there's 2021, skin. Trisha. Yeah, 2021, 2021, Trisha. You're better. I wish them well. I wish them well. Hair by Jay. Keep killing those wigs. Like I hope the $3,000 mm -hmm. from your clients, I hope they go broke after spending on all those bullshit Whoa, things. whoa, whoa. That's not 2021. Oh, okay, okay. I hope Back that. Back it up. <laughs> Keep it 2021. I hope D'Angelo Wallace makes a series on you. Ooh. I hope he makes one about David. I watched the shit out of that boy. He seems like a David stan. No. Yeah. He keeps it real. <laughs> what are you, D'Angelo's biggest fan right now? I just think it, well, I am a fan, but I think he keeps it real. That's his whole thing, right? You can't be a stan of anyone. That's me. I don't think he's a stan of you. He's not you exploited yeah. by He doesn't like me. Oh, I think we're done. Wait. You got something else? No, it's fine. Wait, what? What do you want to talk about? Nothing. I'm here. I just thought we were out. I'm not. I just had a dream, but I'll tell you about it later. Tell me about your dream. You clearly ha came here with an agenda. Tell me about your dream. We weren't friends anymore. Oh, okay. Was it a premonition or a dream? I don't know. Like I became like really like this big time rapper, and I. Oh, like... that's a yeah. That didn't happen. <laughs> that definitely didn't happen. That's what if not... I just? I feel like one day I'm gonna. What get... kind of rap? A like, rap. Like gangster rap. I don't know what kind of. I wasn't rapping in my dream. Okay, I thought. But I, I do have a premonition that I'm like, I feel like I'm going to be like a Jimmy Fallon and I'm going to just have to leave this show and I feel bad because you're so nice to me. You're going to move up. You're going to ascend to late night and say, Ethan, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the next. We've had scene. a good thing, <laughs> but I have to leave you behind. Eventually we're going to have to part ways. And when, when, when is that going to happen? And what's going to happen? Like, I'll feel bad if that's you. Like, what if you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm pretty content. I'm not looking to move up anywhere. I feel like that's the problem with me. I'm never content. I always think I'm going to be doing better and bigger things. So you're gonna be, your plans to be a rapper? Because I don't see that. Your plans to be late night? I don't see that either. I think both with peace and love. A rapping late night host? Yeah, did Arsenio Hall do that? You can be on the show forever. <laughs> no, I don't think so, and I feel bad. I'd be very happy for you if you ascended to uh like I'm the next post Malone that leaves you. I'm like, oh, I'm too famous for Ethan. Bye. Oh yeah. That did happen with Post. You think that's why? I don't know why Post never stopped talking to me. I when I see that, I like your old vlogs will pop up now because I like watch them, so they always pop up and I see I'm like, this is crazy. He like went to your guys' show and stuff. 
Oh, like we were like show. such. Look, I'm not. I would never say a bad thing about him. No, I know, but here's the thing. Like that would be like me just being like but, never talking to you again. Bye. I mean, on, look. So here's the thing about Post Malone. On a personal level, as someone I consider like a close friend, it did. It kind of. It did hurt my feelings. But on the other end, I understand that his life is so crazy and so fast paced and he's just surrounded by all these people all the time. And he's, his life is moving so fast that I understand, I understand, I understand. I don't hold any grudge. What happened? How did it like? Nothing happened. Did it you, was like, a, were you like trying to text them and you just like weren't hearing back? He like goes to June? Yes. Pretty much. No, that does hurt. You know who doesn't do yeah. that is Adam Sandler. He's had his same friend group, Alan Covert. He's his executive producer on all the movies. He has all his little it's, group. Look, in it's his not movies. like we grew up together because po- I know Post is really loyal to like his friends um. who we grew up with. So it's like I'm not. I didn't like grow up with him, you know. But we had like you a really like fun, big good Nick. friendship. And he was like yeah, Sam Dobrik. Yeah, I was the big. You Nick were like the bigger group. than him at the time, so he's like, oh, I got this little come up with like H three. He was having his friends make out with me too, which was weird. I didn't understand why. <laughs> you guys were like in a private jet with him. No, we were, we were, we were like, we were like very good friends. I think that's where my dream came from because I was watching that before I went to bed. And then I was like, oh, I also became like a rapper and I like left you. Like that was a oh, real dream. Oh, you were post Malone. Swear on that though. Like I swear on that, that that was real. You know, the, like, it just, it, it does make me a little sad because like, you know, just because we were friends and that's it. I mean, that's And you don't have like a lot of friends. No, exactly. No, you're like, fuck, I lost his, like, friend. But it's fine. Like I said, I don't have any, and well, I have nothing but nice things to say about the guy. He's a sweetheart. And, um, you know, I wish him well. It's not, there's really no ill will at all. He's like. He just got too. I, 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 it makes sense. Like, he, he became, his rise to fame, like, when I met him, he was, like, didn't even put out his first album, you know? And so I saw this gradual, like, uh road this like crazy stardom not like st- but he's like the one of the biggest artists in the country you know so like he just he got kind of more and more distant as he got more and more famous and i think it's just because his life was just too fast-paced and crazy he was working and he's there's just like i don't oh, know you're like a sad teddy bear right now your eyes are the like thing so- is, i don't i don't want anyone to think ill of him because I don't. No, we are pro Post Malone on this yeah, podcast. Yeah. Maybe he'll be the next Bachelor on H3. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Sh- no. Can you imagine? That'd be fucking crazy. Who do you think would be better, Post Malone or Papa John as the Bachelor? Oh. As much as I'd like to say Papa John, I don't think that the, we're in the right age bracket for Papa. My mom would apply. She's single. Okay. Anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's- Moses' mom. Just all the moms battle. I don't see it. <laughs> Can I say that? I don't know. We can bleep her out if I'm not supposed to say it. Sorry. Um, but we have single moms out there. He there, like there'd yeah. be a lot of women that would be very I happy think you're to right. date Papa John. There's age appropriate women. I'm not saying that, but like, I mean, he's like 55 or some shit. I mean, it's just not our demo. I think you'd be surprised. Okay, Papa, if you're out there, or post. Or post. Do you need help finding a date? Can I will screen them though because I'm a female and I feel like with peace and love your interns are not the best at screening people for I these agree. shows. I will screen By the them. Way, I agree with you. They were awful. I Worked was like, out wow. though. Maybe it's good they didn't find anyone that good because look, maybe if they found someone that was like kind of good, maybe this wouldn't happen. Maybe just nobody good applied. <laughs> That's what I kind of said, I but she so. doesn't want to hear that. No, because there were people who DM me and like I applied but never went on the show and they were like lawyers and doctors and I was like, where did these people come from? Listen. Just because they weren't entertaining I think they're lying. for the show, like a I think character. I think they're lying. I think they're I lying. Think so. Like during, so during that time, I was Ian, my DMs. Ian, Ian, you were going over those. We Do you have anything to say for yourself? If there were doctors oh. and lawyers, we would have put them in. I think they just weren't as entertaining. Well, Dude, some trust we me. put in for sh- mm. Listen, some we absolutely put in because they were entertaining. Because it's a show. I mean, come on. You, you have to expect that. But we put in plenty of respectable candidates, There was not too. one. There was Look, like 18 These are the people that applied. Just, I, I don't know what to tell you. These like, are the I'm people 18, who applied. I'm in college. I'm, but I don't know why. Why did you guys put 18-year-olds in college? Because You said who, you wanted broke losers. Show? I said age appropriate. I said 27 to like Trisha, I'm agreeing with what you were... Or No, I guess it was Ethan that was saying. This is our demo. Like <laughs> These are the people who wanted to date you. Yeah. I, will, I will reach out to my demo for you, Papa John or Post Malone. I will find my, my people okay. for yeah, you. Well, it's a different demo now. Let's lower Let's Let's lower our... Our standards for the bachelor a bit. Let's say maybe Shredder. Who's that? My dog. Dog dating. 
Oh, my dog will apply. He needs a friend or a boyfriend. Schroeder's looking to fuck. He's not looking for friends. Well, I think my dog is gay. Can I say that? I don't know. I think he is. Yeah, do- I mean, dogs seem- don't seem to care. They're just, they'll hump anything. They're just happy Schroeder was humping there. Alfredo over here. Oh. Like 20 yeah, minutes you made ago. a whole big deal about it. Homophobia. Okay, that was like brothers. They're like not First of all, brothers. they're not biologically related, so. And Shane comped his cat. You didn't care about it then. I did not know about that. <laughs> you did it? Well, he says he was joking, but I, I don't think so. You heard the Peace recording. Peace love. Let's not joke about bestiality or anything with children. Right. That might be like crossing the line. Right. I think we're done now. <laughs> Is there anything else? So you have no other friends? I have a few friends. I don't want to yeah. name them. Yeah, I have a few friends. But what do you do? Do you see them, or you just talk on the phone, or text, or how we do you text? Do you- and sometimes we hang out during like not that much, honestly. Maybe a few times. Are a they year. your age? Yeah, they're all my age. Do you talk to your brother a lot? I mean, I talk to my. I have like a family chat with my family, and we all talk there. So you don't just call him and no. Your brother seemed very normal and very. He's a great guy. I love my brother. You should be friends with him. Okay. Look, he's my brother. I mean, he's my brother. What my sister is my only girlfriend that I have. Yeah, some people have that relationship, and my brother's my brother. He's not like, you know. I feel like this is a good podcast. I feel like next week, our physical, can we announce that we're doing a physical yeah, fitness test? I, yeah, we were supposed to do it today, but for some reason, I had, I whatever no happened. This morning. I had to do Adam and Eve and my truth or dare. How'd it go? Did you, were you squirting and stuff? No, it was for YouTube. I had to put up the sponsored video for YouTube. Oh. It has to be up on Mondays by like 10 and I didn't get it. In the How's your OnlyFans? I never hear about it these days. I try to be more low key because like we got approached to be on a TV show for our wedding. So I'm trying to like not what? be so like. <laughs> Wait, a TV show for your wedding? Well, I shouldn't say it because now they're going to know I do OnlyFans. I try and keep it like low key that I like do that. Now. How do they not know that? That's like one of Because your... I deleted it all off my like Twitter and stuff like any sort of like trace of it. But I'm saying if they know who you are, they know that that's what you they do. They probably know, but they probably just don't want to see they me. They want to put you on a show? badge on Twitter. But they want to put you on a sh- like a reality show or a show? Uh, it's like a reality show. It's about our wedding. Like seasons? Or are you like Bridezilla? It's just our Is it Bridezilla? No, but it's a chain. It's a well, not a chain. What are those called? So do you have a season Series. or an episode? Uh, well, it, it's both. It's hard to like describe. You're gonna be in more than one episode. Like it'll air in the summer, but then our wedding's not till the winter, so they come back for like the like. There's like I see, I see. Okay. You're Bridezilla. No, it's not Bridezilla. I swear it's not Bridezilla. I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to like jinx it because it's not like for sure, but they interview. How does it work? Do they pay you? Do they help with the wedding? Like how does it, how do they make it worth your time? They make it really obvious. Like you got to pay for everything. (laughs) So like, so you just, you just think it would be fun for them to showcase. I think they give you money. They did offer like uh, this really like low amount. Yeah. Yeah. Like literally it's like a thousand dollars. Is it going to be a pain in the ass to involve some weirdos in your wedding? Like it's already stressful enough. I think it's more like we were talking about, like you said, you were offered to be like a Mr. Beast burger. I think it's more just like. The coolness of it. Like, we are, yeah. oh, we have a TV show about our wedding. Yeah. Cool. I'd watch it. You'll be in it. I'll be in it. If you come to the wedding, if you want. I'm coming to the wedding and I'm going to be in front of the camera too. I'm going to follow them around and make sure that I'm starting the fucking show. <laughs> I'd be like, excuse me, we have a show together. My name's Ethan Klein. I have a comment to make. I did do an interview with a really, I don't know what it is lately, but so many people are coming to me. This huge magazine just did an interview with me and I can't, I don't want to say it yet because it comes out in March and I don't want to Oh my God, nobody it. cares about me. You're right. You are going to leave me behind. <laughs> nobody approaching me for interviews and shit. No, so. Oh well, my I, God, you're going to be a rapping talk show and leave me behind and stop answering my calls like Post Malone. No, there's this really big I'm going to trauma eat. I'm trauma eating. <laughs> there's a really big magazine that wanted to interview I like me. Chicks. That's true. It's not gay if I eat this. <sighs> so don't, you can't eat that one. Eat the one that says like, call me daddy. Daddy. Or love me daddy. Daddy. Anyways, the point is they asked me about you and our podcast. Oh, they did? Oh, yeah. thank God. But towards the end of the interview. Did they, did they not email you? Because they said they have to fact check everything. Like we have to reach out to everyone you talk about, in the, about in the interview. Really? What did they, they ask like, you about me? Um, It wasn't anything crazy. They were just like, they're like, you have a podcast. I was like, yeah. Was They're the coming whole- to do a photo shoot at our house like this week. Like it's a big thing. <laughs> well, I don't want to jinx it because Paper Magazine was going to do a whole feature on me for Break the Internet and they shot at my house. They did the photo shoot. They did the interview and then the transgender video came out and they were like, uh, uh-huh. we're nixing you. So I don't want to like jinx Come it. On. In case. This one's bigger than Paper Magazine though. This one's bigger in my opinion. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm on. I was shocked. I was like, and it's like a legit, credible magazine that talks about like, po- like they have political figures on the cover. And I don't think I'm on the cover. I think I'm just. Are in you it. time person of the year? 
<laughs> no, but I was really like I said. I don't think I'm the, I, I know I'm not the cover. I, I but I'm like a feature in it. If you and, go and become a rapping taco show, can I be the pathetic guy on the couch next to you, like Jason on Views? <laughs> Gonna say I want to be the pathetic guy on the couch. <laughs> Everyone's like, this is a visual representation of like, Jason's 10%. <laughs> I'll just laugh super loud and be like, act like I'm happy to be there, even though I hate you so and I'm awful. jealous. They have the, it's like just him and his three assistants being so boring and Jason being creepy. And like David thinks he's a talk show host because he has money. It's like, no, you're not. Sorry, baby. You're just not. People watched it. People liked it. Got a lot of views. You know what's called views? Wait, what? Oh, because I got a lot of views. Yeah. I'm just saying, people liked it. They watched I didn't watch it, so I don't know, but. It was only four minutes on YouTube. I was. I don't understand. I just pulled it up. Why is it seven minutes long? Yeah, that's all they put on there. I don't know. He cut it down a little. Obviously did you, insecure. Did you say how they stole from us? How about that? Be David Dobrik stole our friend of me well, logo branding. You sent well, it to me. It was, you pointed it out. I thought it was funny, but you it's just it out. okay. Don't steal our branding. The the what is it? What do they steal? It's just the color. It's just two. These two colors are. No, the no, blue. it's it's on the oh, yeah. it's on the logo. logo. It's the logo color. They are very nice similar. try. Did you notice now they're starting to do video podcasts because Frenemies is so popular? <laughs> well, I have been doing this for a while, just to say so you no. Know. <laughs> the video podcast, right? But I don't think it's like been banging. I think you had a little bit of a low slump for a year, and then it kind of got mm -hmm. banging. And hey, you I know what? I can't even, dude, Frenemies is off the fucking rails. My whole career has been a low slump, so there's no shade to yeah, you. Like, no. I always, I still only get 100,000 views on my videos, so, like, I'm very fortunate. Dude, you gotta be kind of low-key happy when drama goes down, because you make long-ass videos with a billion mid-rolls, and I know you're getting paid. I'm really not. not what oh, you're yeah. I was watching that video about <laughs> AB, and it was like, mid-roll, mid-roll, mid-roll. Oh, stop. No, it does. Thank you, babe. I do not put it in there. I do not. Okay, you're right. YouTube, but isn't that nice? Now you don't have to be like, I wasn't me. <laughs> I should stop. Do you know how, if I didn't put it in automatically on our podcast, we'd have like 100 mid-rolls. Let's do it. Put and it maybe I should, because fuck it. I'm trying to get that. Money, we got boy, no sponsor. because let's face it, Trish is going to outgrow my fucking <laughs> sloppy ass, and I got to capitalize <laughs> while I can. No, you know, my goal is to lose a bunch of weight so I can get, like, weight loss brand deals and be, like, really... Because if I lost 100 mm. pounds, that'd be huge, but also I can't do it. But if I did, it would be so big. I'd be on People Magazine. It's not People Magazine that I want. It's something else bigger. Bigger than people? Yeah. And they don't care about, my like, me losing weight. Or chubby, lack thereof. chubby Chaser <laughs> USA? I don't know. Chubby Jason. BBWs? You know, Hefner once told me that I was too chubby. He groped me and he's like, wow, you gained weight. And I was like, oh, and I never got invited back to the uh, Playboy Mansion after that. That sounds like the kind of stuff he's like, hey, listen, no fat people allowed. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. They wouldn't serve me food. I remember they had like chefs and I was there for Sunday He Monday. literally goes, no food for fatty. <laughs> <laughs> so I went on for Sunday fun days. I have to up awesome. at the mansion. And I would always get quesadillas and smoothies when I was there. I was like, you know, and I was like, I was tiny. I was like maybe 140 back then. I'm like 220 now. And which I know you said on the age three, I was like, okay, 220 body slamming. But I didn't You aside told from me that, that. You said you're uh, 220. And I I'm said, I do you think I'm that skinny? <laughs> Oh, you're more than two. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> I, I went down a little bit. But anyways, um, beside the point, oh no. Goodness. But when I went up to the chef, like I would go every, I went for maybe like three months to the Playboy Mansion every Sunday for their like thing. And like the last Sunday, the day he said I was getting fat, um, I had gone up like hours before to ask them to, hey, can I get my quesadilla and my berry smoothie? And they're like, we're not allowed to serve you food anymore. And everyone else had it. <gasps> I talked Damn, to him video, it was but. wild back in the day. Yeah, and then he like... It wasn't even that long ago, but shit used to be wild. Oh, it was like 2007. It was a while ago. No food for fatty. He literally went to the kitchen and said, don't feed Trisha anymore. She's too fat. And it came from Hef. Like they say, it's direct orders from Hef. Like it, he literally went down to say... And there's like maybe 30 did girls Did you work there? Why did he care? You were working there. No, no, no. I was trying to like be a girlfriend. Like the way to be like a girlfriend. Like that was like my goal. I was never going to happen. to date? You wanted to fuck you? Yeah, there was oh. like 30 or 40 girls on Sundays. Maybe even less. Maybe like How 15. many of them were fucking you? I don't know. I never did. Oh, you don't. I know. was like the ugly one. <laughs> hmm. was okay. I always wondered how many of those girls he fucked. I'm sure. I don't think he can. If you read the books about the ex playmates, I think he only can have sex like once a week. I don't think he gets it up like just because like he's so old. Mm -hmm. But back in the day, he must have. Like, can you like how? What's kind of hard? Have? I think it's so weird that like that was fine. It's like, like this guy literally had a mansion with a harem, and he would <laughs> cruise around in a bathrobe and just like yeah, totally women. Who's that guy that's trying to be like him now with the beard, and he's just like what? Dan Blazaria. What? Why? Creep, I, I hate, hate him. him. Such a weirdo. Such a loser. What is his deal? Like, what? What's his thing? Why is he trying he's to be that? I'm, I'm pretty sure with peace and love, and with lots of um. Maybe you shouldn't say it. If you're saying with peace and love, like don't follow it up. 
if you're going to say something that could get you in trouble. Well, that's like a legal thing. Oh. With peace and love. Maybe so allegedly. Say, Your Honor, this is not defamation. With peace and love <laughs> was issued before the defamatory comment. This is my hunch is that he does illegal shit. Or super oh, shady shit. Oh, because of his money, shit. you mean? Yeah, super shady shit. He oh, seems right. like the type of guy that would like. I wonder if he rents his houses. Like give predatory loans, you know what I mean? That kind of dude who gives like mm. quick money loans and shit like that. Oh, can I tell you when we bought the house, I had to pay off all my quick money loans because I used to do those all the time back in the day. Like literally like I would take out loans like at, what were they like? What was the place? Speedy Cash. And I, I got a $700 loan in like 2012 or something. I don't know. Like you something. left that open? I left it open. I still owed $8,000. <laughs> And I've been paying it every month since 2012. Oh, yeah. That's why it's so fucked up because the interest is so <laughs> high. You could pay them back $800 a month and you're not even getting to the principal. I'm not joking. I think I, I, I like paid them like $35,000 for my $700 loan. That should be illegal. I had like really three, strange. how many, like four open loans and I had to pay them all off before we could get our home loan. So how um, much did you pay off for how much did you get? I think we paid off, like paying off, meaning I owed $30,000 to all these different places. And I think t I did $700 at one place. I think I did $1,200 at another and maybe $1,500 at the other place. Not a good deal. And I <laughs> probably spent $60,000 to each one. So probably $180,000 over the years to all of them for $3,000. <laughs> that should be fucking illegal. The fact that that shit is illegal blows my and mind. And I was paying like $400. Like, yeah, 30,000% uh, interest rate. That's normal. They should tell you. They never told me. I guess yeah. it's in the fine print, but who reads that? Well, I guess you, you should. should assume you're going to get fucked if you go to some. I thought maybe something. Yeah, but, but you don't expect that. That's why it should be illegal. You expect all paying back double, maybe triple, not like 30 times or more, 100 it's, times. It's insane. That those it was. Oh, wow. Name one. But Speedy Cash, Quicken Loans. Like I forgot the other ones. Some other things we never heard of. I can't even I can't remember. You have to be a real specific funding. <laughs> you have to be a real fucking soulless. <laughs> too. Oh, uh, I can't say that. Bleep that, Dan. Bleep it. Um, yeah, don't do loans. Don't hang out with Dan Polzarian. It's not a good look. Nobody cares. You're not Hugh Hefner and you're not cute. By the way, he pays those girls to hang out with him. It was like not that cool. serious. And they're not even like playmates. Also, it's like, cool, you're rich and a bunch of girls want to be around you. It's like, cool, dude. Yeah. Epic. I do not like So that. we don't like Dan Blazarian for sure. For sure. I don't like the third co-host on Impulsive. I used to love that show, and I can't watch it. Well, thank you. Finally, you come around. It took him to threatening my life. No, it's the third co-host that gets me. <laughs> what about Mike? You like Mike? I don't really like him, but he is entertaining. Like, he's just like, it's like me. People think people like, like, like to, like, hate me, you know, like, at times. Can we not promote other podcasts? Oh, okay. Especially ones that have threatened my life. People thought in the comments that you should have came and oh, read for me. But I asked you, did, did you really take it? Are you, like, losing sleep over it? Doesn't it doesn't you know, matter. They threatened your life? What, do I need to lose sleep for, for, for you to care about any of my problems? They just glazed over ours. Like when your friend was on their podcast and they mentioned friend of me's and Trish yeah. Betis, they just kind of like glazed. But they all shot each other, it looks like. Oh, you mean when Tim Dillon was like, I like Ethan Klein, he's funny? No. He said something like, don't be on friend of me's, talk, arguing with Trish Betis. You remember? Oh, it was Tim Dillon, yeah. And they were just all like, they didn't say anything. They glazed over, but they all like shot each other looks. I'm like, ooh, what were they thinking? Yeah. Like, are we, are we like, you know, because like David can't mention my name. Like no one in that we're group the can mention my name. Because, yeah, they well, like, don't mention that. <laughs> well, clearly because, anyway, whatever. Fuck and then, Logan Paul's a douche. And his dad's a fucking criminal. His dad, well, you know, the son should not suffer the sins of their father. So what I are you talking about? Greg Paul, GP coming at you. His dad used to live in a van outside Jake Paul's house, and and he had a leaked. I swear to God, somebody hacked his phone, and his dad was having sex with like these little hussies that were with Jake. Like, do you think Jake Paul just set it up? I don't know, but he was definitely That's having sex weird. with young girls. And there, what? There was one of Jake's uh, videos where his dad was making out with a girl. Maybe he should be friends with Jason Nash. Oh yeah. They'd be him and Dr. Phil and Jason Nash. We're off the rails, guys. Wait, you remember when Jake Paul showed up to Post Malone's house, going full circle? Yeah. How come, like, he doesn't get canceled? Like, how come no one's like, oh, this guy's awful? Like, don't show up to people's houses, you dumb fuck. I mean, he did get dragged pretty hard. Did he? I don't yeah. remember it. So I just thought. Yeah, Jake. Is Jake Paul hated? Where is Jake Paul? He's gone he, now. He moved to, like, Florida to become a boxer, which is, like, laughable. One last thing, and then we can wrap it up. But um, how much would it take for us to have a wrestling match? It's too much. Like Andy Kaufman like style. It. No, like Andy Kaufman wrestled women. It's too much, like, touching and stuff. 
Okay, it's not a sexual sport. I know, but it's just, uh, it does, makes me uncomfortable. You'd rather do the acrobatic think, gymnastics? Oh, yeah. Let, I actually have a video of that. Let me pull that up because I don't know what you're talking I about. I really want to do this. Can, Can we, we start with the monkey up? bars? I'm pretty strong. Oh, so next week is our physical fitness test. Are someone like testing us or are we just like doing a pull up? Yeah. Um, no, Ian's, Ian's going to conduct a whole regimen for us. Are you training? No. I'm not training. Me neither. I thought about it and I'm like, no. Yeah. I want it to be real. And also, I don't want to exercise. So, don't you worry. exercise. You train more than I do. I get winded going up the stairs. Already making excuses. I'm preparing. I think I may have overestimated my strength. Definitely. I'm sorry. My mom and sister are like, you can't do a pull-up. Like, there is no way you can do it. You're too top. I could. You're too top-heavy. Thank you. It's just a matter of fact. It's not like a compliment. Okay, here we go. Oh, you think we could roll around in these beds in these fucking curtains? It's a curtain. Yeah. Do you, yes. do you see this girl weighs like 80 pounds? It's about strength. Core strength, arm strength. Do you think you could climb a curtain like this girl? Yes. But we could do a duet. I guarantee you will not even be able to hold yourself up. Can you even look up one something inch. else? Can you look up Zendaya and Zac Efron? I just want to show you how beautiful it could be. Like if we nailed it in practice, like we could do a really cool type in Zendaya, Zac Efron. And I guess mute it so you don't get copyright. I don't know how this works on here. Yeah, we could mute it. I like looking at people's like, okay, there, that one. Oh, wow. Okay, this could be, this could be us. Okay, fast forward a little bit. Has F fast Efron forward. ever been in a good movie? This one, Greatest Showman. I thought you said you hated it. I, I literally, like TikToks. I literally just asked you and you said it was awful. I like the TikToks. Okay, that doesn't mean the movie's Not this good. part. Go to the, like, the, go to the, we're not doing that like that. Okay, calm down. So you don't think I'm like trying to be like, oh, let's fucking make out. This part we're going to do. And watch when he comes. He comes up and they kind of, oh, I could do that. Look, she's falling. That's not her. That's a body double. I could do that. No, they totally train. You would this. fucking hit the earth like a bag of fucking Watch, bricks. they're going to go together. They're going to go up together. This, oh, iconic. We can do that. I am not doing that with you. <laughs> With a safety net? Look! First of all, it's way and too what? intimate. No, you don't have to be close like that. Watch, but you just do this kind of stuff. Watch, you, you're so far apart. What's Trisha, you, even touching? you, you have, like, think you can touching? do this? Are you I out so of your can. fucking mind? Yeah, I want to do you it. You can't even hold your up your own weight with one arm. I, I totally can. Oh, my God. I know a place God. we can train. Up in San Luis Obispo, they have Dude, to Dude, training is one thing. You got, We got to lose, like, 150 pounds. <laughs> I think we could do it. If we lose 150 pounds apiece. I think 100, maybe. We're 100 easy. Okay, 100. Yeah, sure. If we each lose 100 pounds. Then we can do this? That would okay. put me at 120. <laughs> me too. Then maybe oh, no, I'll, I be, could do it. I'll be 130 then if I lost 100 pounds. Okay. I'll okay, cool. We'll never do it. Thank you. You said it here if we lose 100 pounds. <sighs> yeah, I can't tell if you're serious. You think you can actually do it? I this. actually do because that you can do some momentum going. Yeah, you got to go up to get the momentum first. And by the way, your momentum is running straight into the earth. It's a direct line. They... Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, I think. Okay, we did it. We reached the end. Okay, so no one else should reach out to you for David Dobrik interviews. You're done. You're you're closing that chapter. I mean, feel free to reach out, but like, you can't. I'll ch I'll, but you know, it's just like like I just think that if I keep talking about it, it's yeah, yeah. people are not gonna are gonna stop taking it seriously. Can you talk about it without making it the title? Because I do think it's important you give people voices where they feel scared to share other where other places. But I get it if you don't. No, I can't. I can't. I can't keep doing it. I'm not. It's not my. I'm not the David Dobrik guy. You know. I like you said. If people have stories, come out and say it, and then maybe I'll see it and talk mm -hmm. about it. But the thing about Big Nick and Seth, these are both people who tried to share their stories, mm -hmm. but didn't get the attention that they deserved. Mm -hmm. And these are also two people that were like intimately involved in the vlog squad. Like they're have the most trustworthy. Not not that this person's not trusted, but like the most, let's say, mm -hmm. credible because they're in the videos. Mm -hmm. There's like so much there. You can't really even like what Seth said. You can't. There's no two ways about it. Right. Right. Well, I'm glad that you did it for real. That was I, it just felt like a relief when you hear like other people finally being like, maybe Trisha was like not like like it's just like this like relief where it's just like finally people are seeing something and not calling me crazy or obsessive or like weird or freak or like bitter as AB said. I'm not bitter right. that I'm not in the group. <laughs> I literally left it with, you know, blazing saddles. I, yeah. And by the way, I like I spoke to Seth and Nick a little bit afterwards and they were both like super. They both 
express feeling like super relieved that they were able to yeah. get their message out to a receptive it's audience. All you can do. I mean, like they, and I think everyone had the same sentiment of like, not, we're definitely not trying to cancel. He's not going to be canceled. But I think like, getting and by the way, there, I don't, I don't even think David's a bad guy. I, just, I think he's a bad guy. But. Well, you know, so. I don't know him really. I don't know. think he's going to get canceled. I'm not trying to cancel him. It's going to be, it, that's not even the goal. Like he won't be canceled. Yeah, like I mean, look at Mel Gibson, still thriving. Look, I'm not Woody trying, Allen, I don't want to. I love, well, I don't love Woody Allen. Well, I don't know on the I other hand. support him. Oh, there's like a documentary coming about Woody Allen. Shit. Bad. And his, and his wife slash daughter-in-law or stepdaughter. I still love Woody Allen. Fuck. It's coming out on like HBO too. It's like serious shit. It's not like some lifetime shit. Just don't marry your stepdaughter. Dude, the Woody Allen shit eight. is so freaky. He, didn't he like adopt her when she was like three? It was Mia Farrow's adopted daughter when she was three, but she, Woody Allen he was raised married to her. her. Mm -hmm. He raised this from, like, girl nine. from, oh, from nine? Maybe like five or something. Because Mia Farrow adopted her first, then they got married. So he's living in the same house with her. So he raised this little girl from five and then got intimate with her when she was like 16. Sorry. Yeah. That's fucked up. Okay. Even if you're going to, even if you want to fuck your your stepdaughter, at least, let's wait till she's eighteen. Maybe just don't. If you need someone at nine, you don't really need to fuck them when they're an adult. <laughs> I mean, I agree with you. I'm gonna agree with you on that one. Okay, just you know, there's other people to have sex this, with. The story is it's incredible. I mean, yeah, how are you gonna fuck your own stepdaughter and then marry her? Yeah. They're still oh, married though. One more thing, and I promise we can go <laughs> keep saying this. But like, is the H3 podcast TikTok you guys running that? Yes. How come there's no blue check mark? It looks like a fake account. It's new. It's just a new account. You saw everyone was getting a ton of views from our clips. So you're like, well, we might as well put them out there. Well, we thought about it for a long time. And then um we have a guy who does clips for us. Yeah, the clips look bomb. And he's really good. He's like the best. And so he's like he has a ton of clips because we've been doing clips on Instagram mm -hmm. and Facebook already. Yeah, I love them. I love when he sent me clips. And so, yeah, he's the one that does the clips. So he just started posting, posting, posting a TikTok and it's like doing really well. And was really your well Teddy already. Fresh name change? Is that like a joke? No. <laughs> that changed and you had no idea how it happened. So what happened? Okay, I'm t my name on TikTok is Ethan Klein H3. I woke up yesterday and it was Teddy and I saw no. all the comments. It was like, why is it Teddy Fresh? It was like, why, what happened with Teddy Fresh? And then I saw my fucking TikTok name now is Teddy Fresh. How? And so I realized what happened. So I wanted to make a Teddy Fresh TikTok account. Oh. And then there's a Teddy Fresh account that's inactive, <laughs> like totally inactive, mm -hmm. dead, like no followers, no posts. So I wrote to a TikTok or like someone I know who knows TikTok. And I said, hey, can we get the Teddy Fresh account for our business? And he says, I'll see what I can do. And that was like two weeks ago. And so I woke up yesterday and they switched my fucking personal account to Teddy Fresh. Oh, okay. I was like, how the that fuck was sense, that? Then. The how? <laughs> That's like so far. I thought you were oh. trying to create a scandal. You're trying to be like Ryland, just creating a scandal. No, nothing, I don't want to be Teddy Fresh. On. You don't want to be Teddy Fresh? You are Teddy Fresh. No, I want to be Ethan Klein. You I'm not literally look like the Teddy Fresh logo. You look like a teddy bear. I think that's a compliment. You're, yeah, you look like a teddy bear in a good way. Oh, thank you. Is it not designed after you? I thought it was made in like your, like that's your thing. You were a I teddy mean, bear? I you know, it makes me uncomfortable. Teddy bears? It's cringy. Oh, it was designed after your likeness though? Not after my likeness, no. But you love teddy bears? No, stop. I don't want to talk Wait, about it. Wait, no, what is it's it? It's just embarrassing. Oh, no, I want to know. <sighs> I need to know this. So me and e it's so embarrassing. I why are you making care. me do this? I feel like that's cute. Actually, I feel like it's gonna be a cute story, not an embarrassing story. It's both. It can't be worse than your proposal pooping story. <laughs> no. It's okay, not. so let's hear it. It's just too cutesy and it's embarrassing. <gasps> oh, I want to hear it. I love it because you guys aren't cutesy enough. Not not judging. We love we are relationship. cutesy, just not not fucking in front okay, of so you. Let's hear cutesy. No, you guys are cutesy. I, I, you know what I mean. We both call each other Ted. That's like our pet <laughs> names for each other. Wow! I asked you this a while ago if you had pet names and you didn't tell me. And so then, well, we were brainstorming ideas. And so we were just thinking of like Teddy Bear. We were trying to think of like what would be like a logo. And also the other thing is like what's a website domain that's available. And so we were trying a bunch <laughs> of stuff. And it was so weird. The Teddy Fresh with the Teddy Bear logo and the domain Teddy Fresh was unclaimed after all these years, which I thought was I mean, it's very kind of a sign because it's like Teddy Fresh random. Yeah, yeah. But on all the other social medias, it was taken. So I thought that was weird. Oh. Like the Instagram name, I had to buy from some fucking guy for, for $10,000. 10000 I was trying to get it from him for so long. 
And eventually I was like, dude, whatever. I'll just pay you whatever the fuck. Because I saw, really, Yeah, he saw your success. So you called each other Ted, not Teddy. Both. Did you get pissed when United Airlines started calling themselves Ted? And you're like, the fuck, that was our thing. They're called Ted. I didn't know that. What about Ted Talks? Are you like, oh, that's our thing? Uh, no. Teddy Fresh is Ted, Ted Talks. You know, it's funny that Teddy... Oh, actually, I don't want to talk about the other thing, but... Why? Because it's too... It's like personal info thing. Never okay. mind. But, um... <laughs> um, Yeah, we were in a... We're in a legal battle with TED Talks. No, I'm kidding. Ah, oh, I like tea. <laughs> yeah, we're suing them. No, I'm Why kidding. Why don't you sponsor TED Talks? <laughs> I don't think those people are interested in Teddy Fresh. They actually asked me to do a TED Talk, too. Stop. About what? Yeah. They didn't? No. You got me. You just did it to me. You just yeah. said you were in a battle. I was like, what the fuck would you give a TED Talk about? Squirting? Could you imagine? Yeah. Proper squirting technique? I made $1 million and all I had to do was drink a bottle of water and piss. So it is piss. No, I know you would love that. All right, let's you stop. This is yeah, it always goes off the rails. Territory. All right. So next week. Physical fitness. We're going to have that. It's going to be fun. I should get another spray tan maybe. I should be tan for that. Can you ask her to go extra hard on your <laughs> hands only? Give me some extra grip. I should get her to, could she come to my house and just tan my hands? <laughs> she would love it. Like, I'm totally not even kidding. She only has like 800 followers. She'd probably love the shout out. I'm not shouting her out. Oh yeah, you don't love shout outs, do you? I'll pay I her. Shout out I, what for do, your what, PlayStation. What do I got to sh shout everybody out? I'll pay you. What am I, a fucking shout out monster? I have money. Let me pay you. My least favorite thing is when like they stupid. want you to pay and then also be like, tag us. No, like you can't even pay me enough for the tag, but also I paid you. That's not how that works. I don't, I don't like the no, tag. I, I have currency. I have currency too. I do currency. We are living in the society where money for service. I don't do any fucking, no bullshit with shout outs. Money for service. How do you charge other people? Money, say money for service. So you're not doing the ring shout outs for free rings. They pay you? Yeah, of course. Oh, I thought you got like free doorbells from them. I did, but it was part of the sponsorship. They also paid you cash. Yeah. Oh, so you took the free and you got the cash. Yeah. Yeah. But I did buy. They only sent me like two. I was like, "Can I get more?" They're like, "No." Really? So I had to. Buy, I bought like four more. So I did do it. Oh, okay. Cool. H three code H three. <laughs> bye. All right, bye guys. <laughs>